Hello and welcome to today's stream. I'm Professor Bodhi, aka Mr. Bonnie John. Make sure you guys check out that YouTube community post where I recently announced, um, well, I announced a while ago that I hit 5K. So I'm gonna do a little Q&A video very, very soon. So please be sure to check that community post and leave your questions for me. I may or may not be able to answer them. Welcome back to you guys. We will be starting very, very shortly. We're gonna wait for everyone to join up. Um, today, we are designing a mermaid and a siren at the same damn time. Uh, well, maybe not exactly the same damn time, but um, close enough. Um, we will be in some capacity uh, designing two designs, four total, actually. Um, and quite honestly, I'm very excited um, because this is going to be our first humanoid design. Not entirely. The mermaid and the siren will be humanoid-ish, and then the previous designs will, again, go in that direction of um, what previous Potempo have kind of been known the direction that I go with is what? The sum of all of its parts, right? So we will certainly get to see that, I think, with this creature, but I want to see how funky I can get away with some of these designs and direction. Uh, two streams in a day, yes indeed. So welcome back all of you guys, Aurora, Rec, Ryan, Alex, Hikari, Mast, Draco, and Dr. Crowbar. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're going to get started finally. I did a lot of housekeeping, but we're good to go. Team Leaf is returning. This time we bring him back up called Team Bug. Now I'm going to squash you like a bug, Team Bug. You're not getting anywhere close to my precious Pokemon. So, hello Dinkus, welcome back. So we're just going to jump into this right away. Um, we've uh, stalled enough. Um, so, the mermaid. Now, I'm going to quickly... Uh, and I, this is not stalling, this is research, okay? Um, we're just going to go over um, basically what mermaids and sirens potentially look like. Um, just so I can kind of land a direction. I know that for my Siren, which will be a Chaos Split Evolution, that'll lean, I think, a little more like Clam, something cold, um, like I think of a Clam and it's close shut, kind of like a big angler fish type of thing. Um, and then conversely, um, with the Mermaid, I want to choose a very elegant and beautiful, um, creature but again i don't necessarily want it to be good versus evil so it could still be something that's beautiful but deadly in its own way right so if you guys have any ideas let me know i'm thinking like a koi fish would obviously be very beautiful a a beta fish would be very beautiful um now i'll read it from wikipedia mermaid i don't know why i did quotes in folklore, a mermaid is an aquatic creature with the head and upper body of a female human and the tail of a fish. Mermaids appear in the folklore of many cultures worldwide, including Europe, Asia, and Africa. Mermaids are often or sometimes associated with perilous events, such as floods, storms, shipwrecks, and drownings. You see, so before anyone's like, well, Bonnie, you're trying to make them order the Potempo-inspired mermaids will be a little more kinder than a traditional mermaid or a siren, right? So, the male equivalent of the mermaid is the merman, also a familiar folklore uh, figure in folklore and heraldry. Although traditions about reported sightings of mermen are less common than those of mermaids, they are in folklore generally assumed to coexist with their female counterparts, sometimes referred to as merfolk when together. Western concept of mermaids are beautiful, seductive singers may have been influenced by the sirens of Greek mythology, which were originally half bird-like, but became to be pictured as half fish-like in the Christian era. Historical accounts of mermaids, such as those reported by Christopher Columbus during his explore, exploration of the Caribbean, may have been sightings of manatees, okay, or similar aquatic mammals. There's no evidence that mermaids exist outside of folklore, Yada yada yada, little mermaid. Word mermaid came from earlier known attestation in Middle English. Uh, compound form is from mere, sea, and maid. 
Uh, Mermin is now obsolete. Uh, female slave. Middle English example Merman is bestiary. Merweef. Uh, a certain sea hag and not well attested the siren of ancient greek mythology became conflated with mermaids during the medieval period some european romance languages still use cognates terms siren to denote the mermaid french schirine and spanish and italian serena okay so i think we have a good place to figure out this design now i think largely the direction that i want to go is again very split i think i do want to potentially have my take on the siren potentially maybe leaning a little more bird-like because they are kind of like the early form so this could be like a proto mermaid you know so um let's see here the mimic octopus okay i'm a bit confused is siren going to be a clam anglerfish fusion with siren humanoid acting as tongue inside because that's what i'm imagining that could be really freaking sick and it's kind of what i was like picturing dionysus hera wanted zeus weekly weekly fling dead so she told her to ask zeus to show his god form in disguise oh my god hello no monkey most of the testicle injury grossies with me for real for real uh, we're not going after your Pokemon this time, but your research of the Paradox Pokemon Ultra Beast, you're not touching my research. Sea slugs are beautiful. There's one even called a Sea Angel. I do love me a Sea Angel. So I'm going to give you guys a little, um, a little hint as to what, um, so the Sea Slug, right? I think it's also known as a Nuda Branch. I might be using that as inspiration for my Godzilla design. I will not say anything more about Godzilla because that will be for that day, whenever that day is. So the Sea Angel, however, is very, very beautiful. I think what I'm going to do with the Sea Angel though is I will more than likely use them as the jumping off point for my jellyfish um, concept rather than here but i love that suggestion thank you very much alex all i can think about is that one fish from shark tails yeah she i don't know if she's sexy or not it's kind of weird beta fish reminds me of the love interest from shark tails you didn't search up sirens hello only welcome in would a male mermaid become mere butler that's that's true right mermani hello rich i welcome in pro maid hayani gayani it's not gonna lie but we already have a harpy for bird ladies here's the thing my harpy has actually been neutered. Well, I, maybe I shouldn't say it like that. I've axed the harpy. Why? Because the Garuda, right? Or Garuda from Hindu mythology, right? And then later seen in Buddhist mythologies. I'm going to make that my premier bird person, um, Patempo. Because uh, I had a lot of Greek influence. So I was like, you know what? Pretty sure potentially Garuda came first. So I'll do my bird person as Garuda. And then um we will do no longer harpy but you know maybe put like a little bit of the harpy into the siren which works because there's that greek connection right uh look at a video on the hadouken fish they showed up bioluminescent stuff that looks like blue flame nice that's the kind of stuff i don't want to know for for that day when i do godzilla but okay i think what i'm going to do for this fishy is I think I want, like, I like the idea of doing crazy jumping off points, like a sand dollar, for example, right? Becoming um, a manatee, becoming uh, like a, a humanoid fish, and then like a crazy clam lady angler fish type of thing, siren, you know? Hello, Sketch, welcome in. Question, will there be a mythical thing from Russia, Russian, Scottish? um i don't know if i have any from russian i do have stuff from scottish and irish like the kelpies as i was mentioning specifically i believe scottish um uh but yeah i could see myself doing again it doesn't necessarily need to um it doesn't necessarily need to be um super relative to one another in fact i think i kind of want to design my second form first and the second form is going to evolve into two 
and you know from there obviously in second passes and whatnot i can kind of make them a little more interesting i really love the way my redesign for dugong came out and i kind of like the way in fact you know what i i can even use this pose for this dugong um Maybe it could be like the kind of mane that I have could potentially be, you know, the connective tissue. Because it's really fun to have the manatee be the, um, I guess, the kind of starting place for the mermaid design. I don't want to say starting place, but because a lot of sailors saw um it's kind of dorky pose right yeah so maybe let's <laughs> let's do something like this i'll have it kind of coming into frame like this very uh claude sire vibe um but yeah i i like the idea of a very dinky kind of manatee being the second form because it's kind of accurate you know um in fact uh in my discord one of you guys suggested something called a bunyip which is a very interesting um oh you know what it even's got like axolotl vibes going on here hmm we don't have a proper man uh, and so another thing is um, I really want to do creatures that we haven't necessarily seen in Pokemon. Something that I will admit that I really hate that I, I keep getting worried about is like people's thoughts and opinions. Like they're going to say, oh, this guy is just doing a Pokemon ripoff. Oh, here's a manatee. We already have Dugong. Oh, he's got a rat. We already have Pikachu. He's doing a Salamander. We already have Charizard. And I got to keep reminding myself at the end of the day... I'm making my own thing and it's inspired by Pokemon, right? Like I love Pokemon. People act like there can only be one thing. Um, and that's just not true, you know? So I gotta be better about like not worrying about, and you know, like I'm coming up with problems before they've even existed, you know? So I've got to be better about not worrying about that. This kind of looks like a, a hedgehog instead of a manatee. Um, Russian the Baba Yaga's chicken house. I do love that so much. Uh, I have that listed in my Potempo list for sure. Um, but... Uh, See, if I put a, a narwhal horn, then it kind of leans into dugong territory. So, maybe I'll just put, like, kind of splotches and stuff. It could even be, like, a um, colored, like, it could be a dugong, right? Or a manatee. And then it's colored like a koi fish. You know? And to me, I also don't mind if... Ideally, yes. If um, when I get around to the second passes and everything, I would love for all the designs to feel cohesive in a line, right? So that means even for a split Evo. Um, so, for example, this Dugong or Manatee should potentially, potentially reference um, both forms, right? Something that, like, maybe Gloom doesn't necessarily do super well, say, jumping into Blossom or Vileplume. Like, you can see it, but I want to see if I can be more on the nose. But again, I'm also not, like, super married to making that work, you know? Uh, sea Cow, that's true. Oh, yeah, it does look like a Sea Cow. Uh, Cuckoo Clock in a Baba Yaga house. That's more Pokemon uh, thinking, which I don't hate at all. That's really fun. But that, that sounds very much like a Pokemon design versus a um you know uh, a potempo design so with potempo the designs are just a lot more straightforward you know um but i'm not against doing like 
silly and fun concepts. It's not like Pokemon owns that. But the moment people see that kind of stuff, they're going to be like, you know, that lean is there, right? They're so chubby. Yes, they are, Hikari. I feel like the Norfish is the real-life evolution of a beta fish. Um, what if... Oh, let me see here. Um, Ace Potempo... Uh, Bonnie generally doesn't look things up during your stream. You have a better chance asking when it nears the end. Yeah, I mean, I, I do look up... I do look up a few things just because, like, if it helps with um, something... Just because if everyone asks me to look up stuff, um, I kind of break into, like, in my creative process, you know what I mean? Um, and I don't want to necessarily come across things that might alter the kind of direction stuff that I have in mind, you know? Um, but if it's something that I think, you know, for example, like someone mentioned the oarfish is the real life evolution of a beta fish. I have a beta fish and I mentioned it. So if that's true, um, let me see. I don't see it as an evolution of a beta fish. Um, but yeah, I'm not really seeing that working for a mermaid. Uh, oh, I see some cool stuff with its fins for sure at the top. Um two cow horns that would be actually very cute um but um let's see um let's do i'm going to quickly do most beautiful fish hello gabby thank you yeah my hand that's right most beautiful fish and then i think i can use that as a jumping point i do see beta here i have clownfish puffer fish um i also really like the idea of a lionfish for a mermaid because lionfish is beautiful and then at the same time it's deadly so it might be the lionfish of which we don't have a pokemon for anyway right uh named arceus nice uh i just got a new beta fish i don't have a name for them yet actually uh i'll show you guys a little video so a sea glaucus what is a sea glaucus um oh that's so beautiful actually that might be the second form for my godzilla guy because then i could see the the nuda branch evolving into that and then becoming like a big dinosaur kind of thing um okay so i'm gonna show you my beta fish i might do a beta fish to honor all the betas that i got and then again koi are seen as you know oh here we go ready again look tell me this ain't a pretty fish ready And it's a uh, kind of like this rainbow pearlescent blue. Oh, this bastard's hiding in this video. Why did I save this video? It's like purple, blue. Anyway, uh, the venom can instantly kill a person. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get back to business and defeat the hunt. Um, man, I it could be very cute to give him horns you know what it could be a fun way to kind of like lean into maybe the poisonous bits that might come into the next one right more like chad fish indeed oh i heard someone help me with rigging my avatar for videos hopefully they don't try to scam me oh god please don't even speak that in negativity into existence i, I mean hopefully you've uh you know netted them right like or vetted them rather like you, you've kind of seen their work and you're like oh this is cool they can help me good luck with that that sounds really fun i think with future videos of potempo i'm just going to go more of a subjectively approach where jack no longer uses avatar but um more or less um oh i think i'm gonna like this patterning for this sea cow making it kind of like a koi it does kind of feel like Goldeen, I'm not going to lie. But again, it's not my intention. And, you know, sometimes you just can't get away from that stuff. And not to mention, you know what? It, this is still my own creature. I got to stop worrying about what people are going to say or, or do before they even say anything. 
I know what's true about my work, which is I'm inspired by Pokemon. And if there's any kind of connection, it's because either it's intentional or subconscious. But I will, of course, be doing the best that I can to make unique, fun designs. So, guys, I feel like this is really simple and effective for a second stage. Right? And then I could do like a koi fish. Maybe. Maybe I'll do like a cute beta fish for form one. And then I really like the zebra fish mermaid. Um, and then angler fish clab trapper type of thing for the other one. What do you think, chat? Had a beta fish? Oh, yeah. I want to get a black... Dude, I had a black mustard. That's my most favorite beta of all time. His name is Caviar McGillicuddy. The absolute goat. Rest in peace, you king. I miss you so much. The ocean pinata. Um, let's see here. Demon cow? Not a demon cow. Uh, also, so long as Godzilla and Potempo still both Godzilla and T-Rex. No, I mean, I don't... Again, I'm going to design it when I get to it, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. Remember, I got to continuously remind you guys to set your guys' expect expectation. For example, Godzilla is its own creature. I'm not making Godzilla as a Fakemon, and I'm not making Godzilla as a Potempo. I'm making a Potempo inspired by Godzilla, right? So, for example, when I get around to King Kong, my King Kong isn't going to be a 200-foot uh, ape. Right? It'll probably be like a seven or eight foot um, mandro or something, right? Um, with the prevo form being Bigfoot, right? Like a middle ground, middling ape kind of uh, mythological entity. And the first form will be something else. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to get to it um, when I get to it. I'm going to focus on this one for the time being. Um, but. Uh, very important question, Bonnie. Do they go more glub glub? Come on, Hikari. They gotta go glub glub. Or maybe they go glue glue. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe they go no no no. They go mlub mlub. Or mloob mloob. Fourth time hiring someone? Oh my god, dude. I would say, I would do this. Go to a... Find a, a VTuber or someone you like. And then ask them where they got their work. Because you can trust that. What's up, JC? Welcome in. Bombi John, what's up, Dave's? Welcome in, welcome in. Also, not to advise not advise to touch a Glaucus. They inflict I heard that. That's insane. Bonzilla. Uh use a sea dragon, not an actual sea dragon. I mean the fish is called a sea dragon. If the actual king on was a mandrel, that'd be actually pretty baller. Boogla, can I milk it? Uh I think this goes back to my question about when Danny was asking whether or not. Um, basically, um, oh, could the male seahorses get pregnant or like, do they get pregnant? Thing is, I don't really want to touch gender in my games, like the way Pokemon has like a breeding system. I think the fact that these are spirits, like these mermaids aren't going to necessarily be female, right? I may, you know, in my simple monkey brain kind of like refer to them as such, but, you know, I'll do my best to be, you know, on board and brand with the notion that like spirits are what they are, right? Um, our human brains kind of have come up with gender and whatnot, and I'm not going to get too into it. You guys know I'm pretty, you know, forward thinking and liberal. Um... So when I say like it's a mermaid and I say she, it's really, you know, like a non-binary thing, right? In fact, my siren could even be more male leaning if need be, um, or androgynous as a whole. Um, but yeah, anyway, fish milk filk. Um, King Kong could be a gigathopithecus. Uh, seven foot species of extinct. It could, but that doesn't seem fun. Uh, you gotta fact the big juicy udders. Um, hand anime. I want to do videos in gotcha. Yeah, like I said, I was like thinking like, oh, I'm going to design a, um, you know, 
a new avatar for a new generation because Professor Bothy, he'll still be around, you know, for like if I ever do come around to like certain kind of videos. Um, guys, I gotta say, I think I cooked with this design. It's it's really not a super crazy design, <laughs> but you can't deny it, it's pretty great. Um, so okay, I guess I'm done with using these guys as reference. I'm not going to do anything with the tentacruel design here. Uh, this dugong design that's inspired, that's done. I guess if anything, I could give him, you know, maybe I could say despite how cute they are, they're still pretty poisonous if they happen to slash you, right? Um, yeah, I don't know, just to kind of give a hint that they're cute, but you still probably don't want to trifle with them, right? Um, really love this tentacruel redesign. It still feels unique and different, yet I don't think... You know what, we'll keep them there. I don't think there's anything I can do with a shark in this design here for the siren. And then I do want to utilize sea stars in like an aquatic line. Again, I don't mind the jump between a lot of designs, right? Um, I guess, you know what, I might design this fishy first. I think I'll probably make them kind of like a, a cool beta fish, right? Just to show that we start with this like elegant type of entity. Um, let me look at my beta fish over here who doesn't have a name. Kind of want to name him Pearl or something, the way he shines. Um... No, it's not going to be Godzilla, Fake Mount Godzilla. I mean, the Potemkin that is inspired by Godzilla and T-Rex. Yeah, but like I said, we will see how things look as I get to designing. Anything that I say on stream is always, always, always subject to change, right? Um, my favorite Pithecus is Dinopithecus. Nothing in their pits, exactly. Um, but um, let's see over here. Uh, Merfolk gender neutral. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, JC. I know the 3D model anime. I can't find anything on v 2 mine. It's all blender. If I drink the ghost milk, I'd be able to enter the spirit realm. Their gender is cow. I couldn't have said it any better. It's a black person. Uh, V-Roid ain't the best. You want more black hair cells if there's not enough stuff? What is V-Roid? Some sort of, like, tool? Uh, been v 2 and taking... Oh, I see. Gotcha. Give him stoic. Boss. Big meaty claws. Uh, he doesn't need big meaty claws. That's not really his vibe, right? Um, but, um, yeah, I think what I'll do for the Potempo videos, if I ever get around to it, um, ideally, I just jump right into it and, like, pitch these designs to some exec, right? Or, you know, if I can get in connect with people in industry or otherwise. Um, all right, let me see. Where are you, beta fish? Oh, there he goes. Oh, my filter might be too strong. So I'll do... Okay, so you got a nice little tail like that. All right. And what's really cool is this shape is actually also very close to the manatee. Now, naturally, the manatee will be way bigger in its evolution. You know what? It could be cool. Because it does look like a sea cow. I wonder if maybe... Hmm. What can I do here? Maybe it's a simple goldfish. Like, it looks like a simple goldfish. And then... It becomes something a little more elegant. And then finally... And, and I really like having those big jumps, you know? I think that's very important. The snack that's not a smack goldfish. Um, but, um, question, do all Potempos get along or could there be natural rivals? You know, Draco, I've been thinking about a lot of that stuff because for a long time, the way I, I really kind of designed my world was to like, you know, keep them be separate from the actual world. So they could, um, you know, so they could actually, 
what's the word like have more mystery right in the pokemon world like there's always talks about like oh the mystery of pokemon yada 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 but i feel like when it comes down to it it only i don't want to say hurts pokemon in the narrative because pokemon have been around forever and like people are only getting around to like knowing them like you'd think like we'd have known a lot more now part of me wonders like if i do and i, I really like going into the lean that um you know potempo are known entities but like because they're so elusive like they are spirit entities it's hard to study them and like people talk about them in the way we talk about mythology and then we maybe find out oh they were a part of the world and then they either retreated to another plane and now that plane's merging there's a few ways for me to figure out and so above all i do want them to be peaceful but the thing is at the end of the day you can't have stories without conflict right now does that mean the potemple themselves have to be you know scary or dangerous or this that or the other no but because my story and world all have um actual real world animals in this story because i wanted a place to be like yeah like we have regular chickens we're not slaughtering our blazikins to have kentucky fried chicken you know what i mean um so that way regular animals exist giving the potempo an even more air of not just mystery but like reverence right you're like whoa on one side you could have a chicken and then the other side there's a phoenix right um so it's something i'm still trying to figure out because for for example so for the the question right if you have like say potempo that um also i don't like this fish he's kind of boring <laughs> um i wonder if there's another animal i can you know what maybe i could choose like a clam or something like something really different because the clam could then be a callback to you know what let me do this because then the clam could be a callback to the clam and the angler fish evolution um but yeah, for rivals and things, you would need them to be established in an overworld where they're fighting for territory and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, drink water and stretch. Yes, that's true. Let's chat. Gabby's right. Let's go ahead and get um, a stretch in. Viroid's a tool to make 3D models. Gotcha. Um, where do potempos go when the potempos pass away? I never thought of that. To be honest, I don't think, I think because they're spirits, maybe they just return to the world. Maybe they live on our plane for an indefinite amount of time. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Personally, when it comes to oversized mammals, I'm a big fan of the Megatheranium, the apex predator ancestor of the sloth. That could be fun too. I think that's what potentially Chestnut was based on, right? If the Potempo died, I, I really don't know. Uh, fun fact, the Megaterranium is one of the main reasons we have the avocados, because they were one of the only mammals that could actually pass seeds of that size. Holy crap. Um, let's see. I feel like the mermaid and siren relationship would kind of be like Ogremon and Leomon from Digimon. I don't know them well enough to know, but maybe. Can you use Potempo to exist if a yellow plastic chicken on fire would be... Oh, wait, that's a Pokemon, exactly. Maybe a Potempo that can transform into either a Phoenix or Thunderbird. That is really fun. That is really fun. Although, the Phoenix is so Chinese connected that i have like the golden pheasant in line for that um and then i do have a thunderbird but it's from african uh mythology uh is he winking or smiling fish kind of looks like it's upside down and frowning clamshell bra on the evo no that's too pokemon uh clam on the wisp inside is the pearl yeah it could be um Let's see here. They do die and their spirits just go to the earth. It could be. I like I'm a very spiritual um 
a mis very spiritual person as it were so i'm putting a lot of my spirituality in multiple religions without trying to get too religion you know um but uh yeah just to focus the stream on potempo bonnie not bony that's for halloween how do you mean um, but let me quickly look to see if I've made any other aquatic kind of Pokemon or fake mon that I can use as inspo. Um, oh, I have a, a Blobfish could be a fun, cute first form that Pokemon doesn't have, right? And again, what's cool is like, no matter what I design, they could still, you know, be shifted over to another design. Um... You know what? Maybe we do Blobfish. A Blobfish evolving into a manatee makes a ton of sense. This could be an ugly duckling kind of direction. And yet again, that's yet another Pokemon, or rather a design that Pokemon has not done yet. Right? It might be the Blobfish. I like the Sea Star too. A Sea Star crumbling and opening up to reveal itself could be, could be very fun. Gang, I think, am I doing Blobfish? Because I don't see my, a Blobfish, Blobfish could work as a second form. But if I am having creatures, it does look like it's frowning or something. How, how did I draw this? What What is wrong with this guy? Uh, they just reincarnate into different potempo. I think it's more that they reincarnate into energy that would eventually become a potempo. Any potempo, right? Um, but, um, let's see. Perhaps when they die, they take their time to reform, but without their memories, kind of like, yeah, that's kind of how I'm vibing with. Little chubby guy. Um, Gotcha, gotcha. Phoebus and Melodic moment. Kind of, right? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go for for the Blobfish. And I think I like that. It can be like this unassuming kind of thing. Um, let's see how it works out. Obviously, it won't go for the Clown Lean. But it could just simply really work that it is literally... Crap, I... I I could probably just bring this over without much to worry about, right? <laughs> if anything, maybe I can give him little horns to like lean into the sea cow thing. Mm. <laughs> so funny, dude. And to be fair, this guy only looks like this because um that's when they're like de i think dehydrated right is that the right term like when they get pulled out of the ocean if they die do they become eggs like when digimon die they become digi eggs um i don't have eggs in this universe so they don't turn into eggs tatsugiri winking as well holy tatsugiri moment He can have like little nubs to like prop himself up. <laughs> he looks so sad. You know what? Maybe we should just make him happy. He looks like Mr. Saturn. No horns. He's just vibing. So it's kind of cool, though, that the blobfish kind of evolves into a manatee. There is a connection there. The cow are its ears. It's due to lack of pressure in their bot. Their bodies explode. Blobfish pop up like they do dactyl. Blobfish. Yeah, I think I might make him happy. Just twi sh Just shift it up a little bit, right? Um, and let's just give him, 
He's just vibing. Now, I will say, the horns, gotcha. I will say, the lean toward, he kind of looks like Flounder, actually, from Little Mermaid, now that I look at it. Um... I don't know if this is the best use of the blobfish and the manatee to become a like for example and the cool thing is right if this doesn't work i can still keep this blobfish you normally see are corpses no and then into either beautiful or venomous mermaid or luring chomping siren. If you look at the picture of Blobfish, they are complete. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So another creature we could evolve this to if if these don't work as a mermaid line is the sea boar, which is a kind of boar that lives on. It was kind of like the catch-all for, um, you know. Uh, maps, uh, old timey medieval maps and whatnot. Um, can I curse? You can curse as long as you're not cursing at anybody. Um, look, you guys have free reign to say and do however you want, just make sure you're treating each other with respect, is all. Um, so. How do we make the eyes interesting? He could still be like melting. You know? And then he's like big vibing as a manatee. It works, right? But. He's got like his legs kicked up like he's basking in the sun. We could, I could put the eyes up there, which would be really crazy. <laughs> Blobfish looks like gluttony. I can see that too. Hold on. Don't say yay, Seabor, yet. Because like I said, only if this doesn't work with the mermaids could it be a Seabor. Um, I don't know if, you know, Seabor will make it. But... The more I think about it, gang, I feel like this line does make a ton of sense to go towards a seaboard. But the only thing is, it's also not a super well-known mythological creature. And I kind of want to save the spots, especially in this first run, for mythological creatures that people know, you know? Um, but... Um, Hell, you can make a blobfish shepherd that explodes in evolution becomes the occult domain. Oof. Yeah, I could, but that feels like a Pokemon thing. I'm going to use these as jumping points, right? Uh, sea pigs can work for the sea boar. Oh, yeah, sea pigs, too. Um, yeah, no poo-poo heads in chat. <gasps> I'm banned. Um, okay, let's see how I'm going to do the eyes. I think for color, I'll probably do, like, orange and pink. Um, well, so is bringing blobfish up to the surface, making them all happy seems weird. I don't think so, because, uh, and this is something I've noticed chat say a lot about, like, oh, you know, this design is this or that. These are potempo. They're only inspired by these creatures, right? This is not a blobfish Pokemon, right? Like in Pokemon, it's a world where the designs are, you know, real world inspired naturally, right? Because it, it's like, that's their version of our real world right hence why like a lot of the locales are similar but what i'm trying to do for the most part when i say most part because you know that's my current aim is to create potempos based on our real world creatures so while it is based on a blobfish um it's not a blobfish it's not create it doesn't look this way because it's suffering on the surface world, right? It doesn't live in the water. Um, so that's just something you guys have to keep in mind as I continue to use like real world animals that eventually lean into mythology, right? 
because there's a fun thing happening here where the blobfish becomes a manatee which becomes a mermaid in the same way in mythology the idea of a mermaid came from a real world creature the manatee right which is a really fun thing to to get in this through line so it's really cool how it's kind of going full circle right like in potempo the creatures are all mythological and that you know they're very like spirit oriented and not really well known by by humans and whatnot um um I think that's, yeah, I think that's just really cool. Who knows? There, like, there's been some fun stuff I've been thinking about for the lore. Like, maybe this is an Earth that has since, um, you know, has since, like, long been destroyed. And maybe the Potempos are evolutions to, like, real-world animals or, like, blessed by mythological gods and stuff, you know? Who knows? There's a ton of cool stuff. Ideans? Ideans. Ideans. Ideas influence reality to break through to their potential. Gorb. So if Potempo are elusive spirits, does that mean Potempo Tamers are rare? Yeah, because I, I was thinking about a question that I got for the Q&A, the 5K Q&A. Remember, gang, go to my YouTube community page and leave questions. No promises that I'll get to all of them or yours. But, you know, the more, um, you know the merrier that I can like pick and choose from I think Potempo Tamers and stuff are extremely rare in this world right like it's not a thing where at the very least this iteration of the world the way I look at it is that I like the elusivity part like in Digimon right I felt like as a kid I wanted to be a Digi Destined because Exactly, Mast. Exactly. Uh, you see the Pope, the Potempo are actually in a coma. And the <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, basically, you know, looking at this screen right here, like someone like just jumping into chat for the first time is like, what the hell? And then they look one one foot over, and it's like a koi fish dugong. Let's go, go to Potempo. Um, but yeah. Um, I like the idea that I want to make, especially if you're, you know, a younger player. Um, with Pokemon, like, you know, we can be grown and play Pokemon forever, right? Um, however, I like the notion that, you know, in Digimon, when I was a kid, and I can still enjoy Digimon as an adult, but when I was a kid, I just loved the idea that, like, of me being a, a tamer, a Digimon tamer, whatever the official terminology is called. And the reason why is because it was, if, if I got to be a Digimon tamer, it meant that I was special, right? And that, you know, I was part of something bigger, that I was chosen to be a part of this. And that's like a fun thing to feel as a kid. Now, conversely in Pokemon, everyone's a Pokemon trainer and that's fine because that lets you, you know, be a part of a world and, you know, that's just part of their society. But that's what story is, right? Like each story provides different, um, different points of, of escape, if that makes sense. Guys, I think I cooked with this design. <laughs> Who would have thought? Who would have thought? This one's just gonna be simple. And it's like loosely clownfish kind of based. And he a happy guy. Shiny ass nose, shiny head. Tight. This is my best friend. Uh, could you like summon them through rituals? Perhaps you can dream of them leaning towards the tulpa side of things. I, yeah, I, that's still so much I have to, and I would love for you guys to leave these questions for me in the Discord because these are the world um, world building kind of questions I need to like actually figure out, right? Um, can object Pateco? What does that mean exactly? Um, the tulpa side of things is very fun as well. Bald, big bald. Um, 
it's the feeling special compared to feeling not alone both are nice feelings but exactly yeah and both are really different and you can't please everyone right so if one person's like oh i like the pokemon side i like the digimon side i'm doing and in many ways i'm being greedy but like that's where a lot of inventions and creations come from the need to fulfill something i want to make a monster tamer that young bonnie would love right and i know young bonnie loved a lot of the things that we all love right so to me i'm not like you know i am worried about more things like implications like oh bonnie's like you know this is a pokemon ripoff they say that about Digimon. They say that about every Monster Tamer thing. I got to learn to not care about that stuff, right? Um, it's more like now my goal is let me make the best possible creation that I can, right? Be it through story, characters, monster design, right? I kind of want like his blobby fleshy body to kind of like pool up you know and like kind of like yo he's big chilling he's my favorite yeah buddy um so um i'm trying to remember is the merlion potempo still option or is that scrapped i think that's scrapped because i have a lot of lions you know um oh wait a second draco a merlion being a mermaid with the zebra fish is a really fun idea. Damn, there's a lot of fun water. Look, this is all, look, the cool part is the cool part is anything that I scrap or don't make into reality could always be in a part two or a, a DLC or whatever, right? Again, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. I don't ever want to promise. I haven't even made the first thing, right? Um, but yeah. Um, Rec writes, or let me get to this first. Kid writes, can Potempo go crazy? Uh, as of right now, no, but that would be a very boring answer and I have ideas about that. So the short of it is no, but the answer is yes. Um, Rec writes, what I've always loved about Digimon is the idea that you can have a faded partner. In Pokemon, technically anyone can catch any Pokemon. Digimon, yeah, that, the di like Digi Destined, I love that direction and I kind of want kids who play this game to feel like I was meant to, you know, attune to these Potempo and find them and befriend them and, and explore this amazing world, you know? Um, I believe it means can Potempo be, be gotcha. Fun fake blobfish don't actually look that way. Yeah, we were saying earlier, a topo Potempo is a brain in the jar. I'm going to be doing a jellyfish brain in the jar direction for sure, that's really fun. The day that I mean have faded best friends, cool, it feels so personal, exactly. Some people will claim ripoff just from having, yeah, and like, you know, I, weirdly enough there's a lot of defenders of pal world because people were saying po you know pal world stole from pokemon and there were plenty of detractors that were like stop deriding pokemon so the internet's an interesting place i'm going to just do my part and design my take on a monster tamer and i genuinely believe in my product i know you guys do too which is why you're here i think my thing I'm not trying to be different for the sake of different. I want to make my thing. And I'm going to be borrowing things that inspire me from Pokemon, Digimon, Zelda, Studio Ghibli. You know, that's just how creativity works. Like we're constantly built on, we're ourselves as artists, our products built off the products we consumed, right? I hate to even say that word product, but um, yeah, we're, we're our canvases taking on what we see from other canvas, right? It happens in music like cooking as a chef that happens um pandora's box potempo is a fun idea i love that idea ryan uh, i feel like object potempo could be spirits that are too weak to form a physical body exactly how i would do it i would exactly how i would think that this is a real life robot you sold that blobfish from real life what age demographic are you thinking for my own stuff it's definitely younger probably 10 plus specifically 86 years old yeah like you can't go wrong uh, with the 10 um as of right now ryan to answer your question I'm not really planning on doing objects. I did in one iteration. 
But that seems like, a, again, a part two kind of creation. You know? Um, I'm not against it at all, but I have a ton of mythological leans already. Um, so... There we go. What's great is that these guys have a very similar eye. You know what, gang? Do you think I should do... Now I'm wondering, should I do one mermaid? Because now it's finally time to get to the mermaid. This looks pretty damn cute, right? I'm thinking I do one mermaid and maybe I do a seaboard for the other. Because when you think about it, a mermaid is first described to be like luring men and stuff. Like a siren is again, a more like darker side mermaid, but Maybe mermaid should be chaos, like mermaid slash siren. And then I do a sea boar, because like a sea cow evolving into like a hog feels like a really good fit. You know what I mean? We're a mural of the things we... Yeah, exactly. A mosaic is even better, right? I'm going to write mosaic. I like the idea of a Pandora's box. Pandora's box. I was thinking about Ginny as well. It could be I put the Ginny and the Mime element together. Mime, the Mimic. Uh, can't believe your design is roundish and orange. That's ripping off James Naismith, inventor of the basketball. Damn you, James Naismith. What do you think? What if you use different coins for each stage? There's tons of color variations. Exactly. That's a good idea. Honestly, what I'll do for now, already, there's like pink with some orangey kind of splashes here. So I think that already kind of works. Um, so yeah, let me hear what you guys think. Should it be mermaid slash siren, right? And I could always do a siren in a future game anyway. And I turn this one into a sea boar because I genuinely feel like it's a missed opportunity not to get a sea cow, a manatee, to evolve into a sea boar. You guys feel me? While you guys tell me, because I'm definitely doing manatee into a mermaid for sure. Let me know, chat. I'm gonna keep this fish in case I use him for something. I definitely also wanna potentially use starfish or a sea dollar for something as well if there's like another aquatic direction Ooh, i got an idea for the sea fish actually or the sea star seaboard the merminotaur pretty much kidding i do like the boar idea too um personally i think they're perfect currently is it the split between mermaid and siren separately Succubus and Incubus. I do have that. I don't have them planned for this generation. Uh, just because I couldn't fit them. I had so many creatures. I would love to, though. Uh, I would love to do that. Sounds awesome. Go for it. Loxton's going to have to make a video explaining all... Dude, I want to meet Loxton one day. Um, I would love for him to look over Potempo Designs. Could you imagine? I mean, a lot of my mutuals know locks it, so you never know. Uh, I also marked down the idea of using koi patterns. Um, would that mean the mermaid siren be inspired by English fish as well? Maybe, maybe not. I do like the idea of the Venus de Milo angle with the mermaid, but it might be a little extra. Um, let's see, let's, let me, let me cook up something first. Um,
Thank you, Ugliachi. You're, you're reborn now as Blobo for now. Uh, Pandora's box can go with the Incubus Succubus. Hmm, as far as releasing. Incubus and Succubus. There's definitely a lot of cool things you could do in. Like, it could even be Vampire. Because instead of blood, it's sucking out life energy, right? Because blood is too gory for, for children's concept. Uh, Incubus is pretty much the same being, just if Yeah, it's, it's gendered in the same way, like mermaid merman in a way uh just because box of sins becoming the sins i oh i like that angle a lot um that's a really fun angle actually humanoid mermaid chat how do we do this we're already at an what nearly two hours in let's do Again, I this is gonna be my first humanoid potempo. Hmm. You didn't say the cyro potempo is going to be humanoid, right? I like the idea of progressively surfacing as it evolves from blobfish to manatee. And finally, well, no, not necessarily. Like both sides would be more humanoid, right? Um. So it could be that yeah, one maybe the hog is the one that surfaces, which is where people. Um, the hog is the one that's surfacing and maybe that's why they put them on, on maps right um, the humanoid part is going to be really tricky so it could be like guard of war with like And then that way the mermaid can be, again, the chaos side. Maybe they can look pretty and beautiful. And that a future siren, like a, a more direct lean into siren, could be incredibly scary looking. Because again, I don't want them the designs to ever feel evil. That's the thing. And so my worry is like, if I do anglerfish, it'll look evil. But then again, that's... A good way for me to be like, oh, just because it looks scary doesn't mean it's outright evil. It just revels in chaos, right? Um, to be honest, Incubus and Incubus is pretty much the same thing. The only difference is, yeah, exactly. What about a golden cow? Is it possible bounty-like quest, like an evil golden version for just a quest? There is a golden boar, Gulen Bursti, who's from Norse mythology. Uh, golden cow, is is that a reference to some mythology? It sounds familiar. Or golden eggs from Jack and the Beanstalk. Ooh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Like, the Beanstalk is a modern mythos, right? Rule 34 artists waiting with their pens in their pockets. Damn it. I'll trap seven evil potempo. Why? Was it seven original medieval kind of entities that come to life? Uh, I do feel like subjective to do humanoid are good in spoke because they do, don't look too humanoid, but still read as human. Yeah, it's true. I think he had a legendary four. Welcome in, Justin. Uh, did you see my SpongeBob idea? Coral hair. I do like coral hair. Because I do have the kelp hair that I did for the recent entity. It could be cool to have like coral hair for sure. Like, But I want something with flow at the same time, you know? It could be maybe even the hands are like coral. Right? Like kind of like... Um, let me see. And to avoid making it humanoid, I'll always do things like I'll never do a Machamp kind of thing where, um, you know, it's five hands, five toes, you know? Yeah, maybe, maybe it's like coral hands. I think the more I think about it, gang, I think I really do want to do mermaid slash siren. But the thing is with the sea boar, right?
It's it's not like the Seabor is the pinnacle of chaos or order. So you know what? I'll I'm gonna do Mermaid and Siren. Sorry, Seabor. Or you know what? I could have the Seabor. Look, I'll leave a spot for a potential Seabor where that's the middle ground evolution. As of now, I don't have many middle ground evolution. Um, so I'll just keep it there for now. Um, the evil, the golden cow is the evil beast 666? Really? Golden calf is from the Bible. Oh, wow. Okay, I had no idea. I know bronze cow is a torture method. I'm going to do the bronze cow into the minotaur because they're both Greco Roman kind of stuff. Um, let's see. Could have a tiny swarm of tiny fish forming the hair. That is very cute. However, I feel like that'd be really tough to illustrate and draw, let alone animate. Uh, I love that idea so much, though. I mean, I guess I could do it in a way where... You know what? That's not entirely... Look, if I did something like this... You know, and like, pattern it... it could, that could be very fun. Now, how do I get the face? Because the face is going to be... And if I am going to be skipping out on four forms, what I will simply do to really elevate um, my finale forms, or aka the final forms, right, which are in this iteration, the third form, I'll just really have the third form always be a gigantic jump from two to three, as if we were mega, but again, not with four forms, right? It'd be... It'd be like, what if the third form in Pokemon were Megas and really push a, a design, right? Ponyo's mom could be a nice reference, absolutely. Um, speaking of torture, never thought I'd say this, but an Iron Maiden Potempo could be a fun design. Yeah, that might be able to live with, like, I think, a medieval or English kind of um, direction for sure, right? Um, phone home fingers. I know, I was thinking that too. Uh, I got a bad idea. What if they were actually ugly, but they have some type of illusion where allure sea folk into thinking they're beautiful, but always resulted in their doom? Um, I don't think they're so living in the world to that degree um, that they need to do that. But I mean, I'm, I'm not against the idea. Like, that's pretty much kind of feels on par for the real world. Inspira not inspiration, but the mythology that we have in our real world, right? Uh, put my face on it. That would be scary. The hair fish thing could also be done or instead for the tail. That's very true. It could be it could be for the tail as well. Um, and What's important about doing today's design for this? Like, for example, Primarina is straight up a, a mermaid, right? But, you know, kind of like a Selkie with the seal aspect as well. But we don't really... I mean, uh, maybe I'll speak for myself, but, like, it's obviously very clearly animalistic and humanoid, right? Like, there's like it strikes a nice balance, and I think it's because mermaid are seen as... Um, what's the word? Well, mythological, right? So it's got animal leanings. And with Primarina, they've, it's got a very overtly snout-like nose. Here, if I give it a humanoid face, you know? Top human half is a humanoid tongue. Oh, God. That sounds gross. Um, let me do... Yeah, okay, so this feels okay for now. You know what? Let me do... Like, wings, kind of like fins, you know?
The Kelpie Potempo has a rival, it seems. Yeah, I guess that's kind of true, right? Yeah, that, that actually really tracks. Color will be a really thing, big thing. Let's give her these like kind of like... I'm going to look up... Hmm... I'm going to look up octopus eyes because I want, you know, they don't have to look like cute or, or sexy or whatever. I want them to look uncanny. Okay, yeah, interesting. Because then if I do a direction where with octopus... Octopus eyes are crazy looking at them. And it's if she feels very alien here, which is cool. Um anglerfish teeth or shark teeth? For the mermaid? No. Maybe for the siren. And maybe over here, I'll do... I kind of want to give her... Like, fins here. Maybe underneath their arms, I give her, like, the gills, like, right here. Wow, I, I genuinely did not expect this to be my mermaid. Uh, eyes on the side are prey eyes, on the front are predators. Yeah. I mean, she's kind of pretty in her own way, right? Like, I've certainly never seen turtle shell. Ooh, I would love to add a turtle shell on it. But I feel like that might get a little clunky. You know what? Chat, I really like this. Maybe jellyfish hair. Oh, I do like jellyfish hair. But I do want to save the jellyfish for the other jellyfish creature. It could be octopus hair. Jellyfish hair could work too. Girl boss. Um, we can't wait for the Greek and Sarah Pokemon. Such a Greek mythology nerd. It's the Greek section, I'm not gonna lie, has been cut down quite a bit. There was a lot. The most, as far as the sections go, is um, uh, medieval. Medieval is high up there. Pop culture is high up there. Um, also, I removed um, Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise um, from pop culture. I realized as much as they are naturally, of course, deserving of a space as in, in the pop culture section, at the end of the day, this is meant to be my own thing. And how am I going to defeat the Pokemon allegations if I outright pay homage in such a direct way? Which, you know, again, I don't mind, but I think what is what I am doing that's really cool is there will be a subtle Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise lean in existing mythological choices that I have. So for example, I wanted a frog species. I'm gonna make my frog prince have a little bit of a touch to Venusaur. I have a, I think it's called Bixie. I have a Bixie 
inspired Patempo. That's from Chinese mythology, which is the dragon turtle. That's going to have a little bit of a blast stories feel to it. And then finally, I have, um, I have, uh, what do you call it? Oh, medieval salamander. The salamander will have a Charizard lean. Again, I'm not recreating Blastoise. I'm not recreating Charizard. I'm not recreating Venusaur. But I'm putting, you know, just my, my homage and love for them in um, in those um, pre-existing mytholo mythological entities so that they don't take up a whole sl uh, six slots because I was going to make them two-parters. Uh, and they still would be two-parters. Take care, Ryan. Anemone hair. Would have on my team? Yeah, it is cute, right? Silkies are known to have children with a male human partner and go without ever meeting their children depending if they have their seal. Wow, okay. Uh, since you're doing Goji and Kong inspired Patempo, are you going to do a Gamera? No. Um, Godzilla and Kong are like the top of the, the totem pole for me. Same with Cthulhu. And the way I look at it like this, um, so on one hand, right, Cthulhu obviously is very mythos inspired, but that'll have like a water lean. My Godzilla also currently kind of has a water lean as well. And Kong has a earth lean, like big as a mountain type of vibe. So I was kind of like looking at them as like starters in a way. Not that I would make them my starters, because again, that's fire, water, grass is a Pokemon thing. We don't have that in Potempo. Um, but just to get their vibes different, you know? But at the end of the day, it's just, again, homage to... Um, it's just homage, right? So nothing more than that. Bronze cows from Moses? Is it? I thought it was a torture device in, in Greek Roman times. Well, I mean, I guess you had the Egyptians, of course. Okay, let me put some color down. You know what I could do? I, I'll maybe put the fins white like this, and then I can put Yeah, that sounds about right. And then what I'll do is probably add like a pattern like this for the scales, you know? She's so oddly elegant that I'm finding her very endearing. I will do... Hmm. Ooh, I like this. The orange and blue is really nice as well. And we still have the koi elements from the previous... I really like the squid eyes. I gotta say, it gives her a very unique feel. Oddly alien-like. Now, I will say this design is a little busy, but it is only a first pass, so I'll, you know, of course, simplify it as I, you know, figure it out. I gotta figure out what to do with the hair.
I really love this design. Um, the bra oh, I see. The brazen cow is the torture device. The golden calf is from the story of Moses. Um, I always like human humanoids and monster characters because I think it's cool to stand back to back or do poses to create your buddies. I love humanoids characters, but never been a fan of Pokemon. They look too humanoid. Yeah, I think it's the clothes, right? Like for certain like fighting Pokemon. Um, might be a little basic, but I would like to see your take on a Wukong, like a peach string into a pig, then to a monkey. Yes, dude. Yeah, that's fun. Um, I think Wukong would definitely have to come in like a Gen 2. Um, I do... Dang. I do love Wukong. Hmm. Yeah, getting like a Momotaro type of thing too. Um... I guess more of Journeys to the West but Temple rather than the Wukong one. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Um, this is a separate thing. Uh, what are you going to do for the hair? I'm not sure, Alex. I'm trying to still figure it out. Wukong is one of my lit character literary characters. It'd be so cool if you made your own version. Yeah, I think so too. Post kind of says follow me like they might be leading you somewhere. I like it. I For me, I think she's more like kind of like sticking her... Yeah, I, I guess like maybe even feeling the sun or something. It could be cool to have like the siren pose be like the opposite version, you know? College, I made a short animation, Wukong finding his pole. Wow, nice. Holy crap. Um, okay, so for the hair, I know it's gonna be basic, but I feel like seeing green here. You know what could be cool? Thank you, Gabby. I'll take that heart any day. What if I made her head like a calamari shape, like this, and then kind of like either jellyfish tentacles, like su chat suggested, or maybe, you know, like octopus, and it's obviously not octopus, but like, you know, there's something really fun about that. Let me make it instead of green. Let me just continue it to be orange. Hmm. I like the orange, but the rest of the body. Oh, you know what I can do? It can still be orange, and the way I'll do it. So it won't be jellyfish, it won't be octopus. It'll just be like the hair is kind of bunched up. And then you can, you know, like she can separate them as needed. Or the way they're animated is like... And then to alleviate the orange, I'll put like just your hands out like that. I'm not gonna lie, this is the last thing I expected when I said I was gonna create a mermaid. She's still a cutie. She's still, you know, like an interesting design. She feels like a mermaid like I've never seen before, right? So that's good. And again, the third forms are always the finale forms. So it's okay if they go and again, burst to their potential and just be something so different, you know? Chat, what do we think? I could see my second pass for this design be very, very different though. 
I'll say that right now. This is just very much that first pass. Trying to get ideas and stuff down, you know? Dang. Oh, I do like that orange underneath so much, actually. You know, I think she could also even have eyes like this, too. See, this would be a very Pokemon angle if I do this. And don't get me wrong, I could very much see myself going this route, too. And I suspect, ch chat, you're gonna like this version more. Shit, I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty dang cute. But this is so unique. You know what, it might have to just be this, because connecting to the character is more important. You know? Um, I prefer the skid ones. Go with the squid. Honestly, I like the squid one more though. That's real cute. I do like the cuttlefish eyes. Wow. Chat, you guys really, really like the other eyes. Wow. That's crazy. Maybe the hair like the Dumbo Octopus Vampire Squid. I'll have to look those up. Oh, the Dumbo Octopus also looks like little cow ears. Wukong is supposed to be Indian. Yeah, like Buddha-inspired story, right? Uh, I feel like the green breaks up the orange. That's what I was thinking, too. Uh, isn't Indian Wukong Hanuman? Yeah, kind of, right? Um, similar stories of, like, monkeys with massive strength. In fact, there's a, uh, a monkey in India called the Hanuman Lunger, um, which would be a great choice for me to do something with Wukong. You guys are really inspiring me to do Wukong. I might have to do Wukong chat. Squid eyes equals good. Holy crap. I thought I was going to be in the minority. What if you made the hair similar to a lionfish? That's what I was thinking. Hello, Pastu. Welcome in. Are you back from Japan? Fish hair for the siren, maybe. Maybe. Uh, man, my bobble sure looks different. Um... Because what I could do is King Kong can be ape and then Hanuman. Instead of doing, maybe I'll do a Hanuman Wukong fusion and have it be monkey. Right? She looks so cute. Good, good, good. Blub, blub. Uh, what if the pupils are a blue or green? Back from Japan, welcome back. I had one of my friends, um, again, it was like, I was a fool for not pulling the trigger in Japan by buying vinyls and a uh, bunka knife that I was looking for. Again, I don't know why I didn't chat. I was so dumb. Um, but uh, yeah, he FaceTimed me. Thank God. Or uh, You guys seen him in chat. Rico, Ricardo. Um, I'm so, You know what? I'm honestly so glad you guys like the cuttlefish eyes. It's still cute and very unique still, you know? And it just feels more like less human. 
But again, don't don't be surprised if I potentially, you know, change the direction um, down the line. Um, guys, shall we hit the little flip ski? I think it's time we hit a, a flip. Do a flip. So yeah, so he got me uh, some vinyls I was looking for, which I saw at a thrift shop. I don't know again why I didn't buy them while I was in Japan, but he got me studio ghibli vinyls that i'm gonna put on the wall there soon so he got me the ones that he found the, of like the covers and stuff i was looking for was um mononoke hime which i was very excited about and then um kiki's delivery service so now to complete the collection i really want to add to my collection uh howl's moving castle and uh um it was howl's and what was the fourth Spirited away. And then I'll buy uh, on my own Furikuri and Cowboy Bebop, as well as not the worst flip, actually. Also, I'm just going to delete. No, 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 no. I was going to say I'm going to delete this fish. When I say this fish, this guy right here, I'm going to keep him. I'm going to put him in another design document the scrap designs document in case we could find a home for him so we still have this thing to use for the siren let's see if i can make it work Ooh, there's some sort of thing with this design right here like if i were to create some sort of That works so perfectly, like he was meant to be there. You have thrift store in Japan? Of course! I mean, it's like any other place. Every every country in the world have thrift stores, man. Um, it was amazing? Good. I'm glad. Welcome back, KK. Got jump scared by VTuber and Shibuya? Um, while I do appreciate Pokemon's design to make them friendable, I think alienating would be make them seem more mystical and unique. Yeah! And don't get me wrong, like... A big part of this game is, of course, bonding and befriending, you know, monsters. For tempo. So, I'm not averse to making them friend-shaped and, and friend friendly and all that, you know? Don't get me wrong. Um, I feel like you can't go wrong with yellow eyes. Yeah, I feel like yellow works too. It sounds like potemporary. Nice, Auroras. Also, this is my opinion. I think of stronger message if you love something regardless of how they look. True. Double up our search key. I want to hold them. I'd love to have one. Is you connected with the cuttlefish eyes? I don't trust the human eyes. I like that angle, Alex. Thank you for sharing that. It makes you feel too smart. Smart. So maybe, maybe the other one could have human eyes. We'll see. The giant wall in Japan and had a whole floor dedicated to like pet stuff. There were dogs and cats just hanging out. Hell yeah. Really love that mermaid design. It's really cute. Thank you. I can see like a bear trap with those hands. That's what the goal was. Uh, the fish in the sun looks like one of those creatures that have tongue shaped like bait. Exactly. Not Cuba. They're just stores. Uh, another one for the jar. To the jar. Where chat? Where are we at with the jar? Not David Boy's tip jar over here. And hello, Jay Wolf DL, the newest subscriber. What if the head crest of the mermaids a propulsion system make them go top speeds in the sea? No, I think you're thinking too Pokemon like. Um, I don't need them to like really have anything to like in a scientific way explain things. I'm not against it, right? Don't get me wrong. I might have their dex entries and say things like their tentacles do this or that or the other but at the end of the day if they are more like spirit like entities that are built off of like maybe a grand design that's not looking at like evolutionary advantage because clearly there's nothing evolutionary like from a scientific point of view like pokemon or real world here it's more again like i my series for tempo is all about vibes 
right? Like, it's, it's straight up vibes. I gotta say, this is another great set in my opinion, and we're not even done. Um, I sure love Bomb Tempo. You mean a frogfish? Uh, a snapping turtle. I'm gonna have my snapping turtle probably be the basis for... So there's two, I'm, I'm struggling to get the Tarask in, but it would be cool because that would be French representative, which I don't have any kind of French mythology in my world yet. So if I do the Tarask between, okay, I have the Big Shi, which is a Chinese turtle dragon. What dragon could I use for that? Because I was originally thinking the snapping turtle for that one. However, the Big Shi, it's more so the carapace, less the turtle. So maybe I can leave the dragon turtle to be a snapping turtle. Posters or Bon Tempo? Bon Temposters. Let me keep count, but I believe we're at least five. So that's a dollar twenty-five, a buck twenty-five. Bon Bonds, that's too cute. Like if the tail fin was the bear trap and the inside was the humanoid bait part, so once they trap it, like the cage thingy. That feels like a Pokemon design though. I think we're at five as well. Okay, good. Keep it keep it um on the count. Mine are the same, they're more like yokai than animals. Yeah, I don't really exp express the way I'm thinking it. Komodo dragon. Oh maybe I'll do Komodo Dragon for the um, um that's that's a good idea. Komodo Dragon for my Tarask. It won't be like the DD Tarask. It'll it's the Tarask of mythological origins in France. Okay. Alligating oh Mada Mada. Mada Mada. The Mada Turtle is what inspired Turtonator Gang. And the alligator snapping turtles? I'll have to look into that. Uh, okay. Guys, I'm going to rate these designs. Ready? Um, 9 out of 10. Where's the extra? It goes here to 11 out of 10. And this? 10 out of 10. Isn't it cool how like, again, I don't mind if the final one doesn't, like, again, the idea is the third form will always be representative of a burst of energy that pushes them to new potential, right? Now, I will say this, something that will be very important, because look, we already have people in my chat, which is fine when they're like, Oh, X Pokemon doesn't look like they evolved to another Pokemon. I have problems with certain designs like that too. Now, the thing to alleviate that is how do you keep, of course, the through line consistent, right? Even if the animals aren't the same. But above all, the most important thing, Chad, is to always keep the spirit alive through the eyes, right? We communicate a lot with our eyes, right? Even I, I could stream without my camera. And, you know, you guys could see me draw and whatnot. But, like, the fun thing is you get to see me react and express mostly through my eyes, right? Obviously, my full body, da -da -da, whatever. But if I can, in my second passes, make sure that most of the like the connection, the connective tissues between all the designs are usually through the eyes, that would be huge for me. Does that mean I give cuttlefish eyes to the blobfish? Maybe. Does that mean I give cute little beady eyes to the final form? Maybe. It's something that I've got to, you know, try to learn and figure out as I go, right? Uh, I think you've been pretty good about not saying monsters. Yeah, exactly. Look, I've been saying monsters on stream for four five six months right because like i'd always like even if i was working on dex neo or my ben 10 art or other fake on i'd always talk about monsters right and for the longest time chat you know you guys were like oh it should be this name or it should be that name 
And so it will still be very hard for me to stop saying monsters, right? Like it was a natural part of my vernacular on stream or otherwise, right? Even today, literally just today, I changed one of my Google documents. It, it was like monsters, like information or something. And I had to update that to Potempo. So little by little, you guys and me, we're all going to kind of come together and just keep saying Potempo and get that going. And again, the great part is everyone I've talked to seems to love the name. I think it's exactly what i was looking for you know uh hello rosalina welcome in. rosalina rosalinda all my fellas uh i think bonnie speckened speckened second spirit animal is an elf owl what is an elf hour i want to hug them all me too for the carapace what about the pangolin oh you know what that's a great idea it doesn't have to be um a turtle shell although i do love me a turtle shell but yeah it, it does fit as well i like that idea a lot um, because apparently the face of a lion, but I've already got a lot of lion creatures, so I'm like, I want to see where I can rotate out the lion or other animals. It, they're only inspired by real world creatures, right? And even then, a lot of these are mythological creatures that aren't real, so there's gonna be a lot of creative freedom. Um, so pangolin, uh, I like them how they are. If they were an evil on, I think Dundoza should evolve into Tetsugiri. Yeah, I could feel that. Tetsugiri, the bosses, Dundoza, the henchman. Yeah, I feel that. I love Bond. I mean, Potempo, so fun. For the Tarasi, you combine both alligating, yeah, alligator, trapping turtle, and pangolin. Very true. Owlbear, but it's a bear head on an owl. That's the totem way. Okay, so it's 9 o'clock. I've been drawing for a little over, I think... No, just about two hours. I'm feeling a little cramping in my hands for sure. So I'm going to start designing um, this siren, La Serena, or La Sirena. I don't know. You guys tell me in chat. Um, so mermaid and then siren. I want to see again if I can potentially make that hand thing work. I don't think so. And again, as much as I love the anglerfish, I don't know if in my heart of hearts, I like, I think the lionfish would work against the koi, right? Koi has spots, lionfish has stripes. And their, sp their spikes are very venomous. So I'm going to try... I feel like anglerfish is the obvious bet. It works, obviously, because it's the luring aspect. But I don't. we don't have a zebrafish. We don't even have a proper anglerfish. Um, so let me try lionfish first. Don't break your hand. I promise I won't, Rosalinda. Thank you. Um... Remember seeing the version of the Tras having a snapping turtle head and mouth with lioness facial features? That could be really cool. Wait, sirens and mermaids aren't the same thing. What's the difference? So, uh, I was saying earlier in chat when we were doing our research, ooh, you know what? I might be able to combine the two. Maybe I have this part come down here, and the lionfish has these spines that shoot back. So, I could do something like that here. You know, like a the spines of, and maybe her pose can be more like a come hither kind of pose. You know. Um. Ooh, it can't be the middle finger, right? <laughs> so she's like, join me, come grab my hand. She's like, come hither. Yeah, so I'll do like a lionfish with a little bit of an angler kind of element. Uh, artistic imp interpretation version, I meant. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, Paint me like one of your French Tarempo. Siren have hypnotic voices. Hand looks cool to me, but it doesn't feel like a friend. Sirens, but they're all aquatic siren head. Like Ariel from Little Mermaid was a siren. That's why it was a big deal. She gave up her voice. Oh, true. One's leading, one's luring. Yeah, maybe not so much leading, but one's putting out their hand to say, like, you know, grab my hand, I'll help you. And then the other is like, come. Everything's fine.
and maybe in the official art I'll do something like that feels more right yeah you know what sadly so that that hand thing will still be in the backdrop that way their their tails are kind of swooping in different directions that could be cool to have each of the official um entities any of the entities that are like considered to be counterparts it could be really cool to be able to um have them just oppose one another and again it's not like one's good one's evil chat what is it I forgot you guys can't give me an answer immediately, so I'll wait. Kokoyona Potempo? What is Kokoyona? Could give it a goblin shark nose or a swordfish nose to make it look like a witch. Oof. That's such a good idea. I love the goblin shark. It's such a cool creature. Maybe maybe it's hand. What if it's it dangles? Yeah, because it's it's not gonna be a true angler fish, unless you know what. It doesn't have to be a traditional like attractive mermaid siren type of thing. It could be a grotesque. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I was gonna make them like contemporaries of each other okay so i'm gonna look up goblin shark mouth and then i'm going to get okay lionfish for sure oh i'm gonna make it grow it's, it's basically like the uh ursula to little mermaid kind of thing is what i'm trying to do goblin shark and then what was the other thing i was thinking um it'll just be more like okay okay chat i got it mermaid deoxys no okay um because like I, I just realized something why would it need a lure if it's a you know not human size but it would be a small wimpy dimpy lure right like your mouth is this big what tiny guppies are you eating you know what i mean eel tail Ooh, maybe you can hold it slower if we're still using that honestly it could be a cool thing where maybe her her tail was like but see i don't love pokemon designs that do that that use the tail but if i were to do something like that where she's using her tail maybe it's got like a hook like a hook vibe and like you know see which yeah exactly so one is the siren but i'm going to you know what? a long tail as a weapon isn't the worst that feels a little more intentional however i've got something i got something i got something i'm gonna, I'm gonna make her a grotesque witch sea witch thingy scary goblin shark with okay ready so Okay, so Goblin Shark, I'm gonna have the extended mouth. She's gonna have teeth like this. So as you can see, she's gonna be largely all mouth with like a more traditional kind of body, right? And then that way, so the Goblin Shark has that nose that sticks out. I could have this have the angler element. You see, so it's an angler fish turned goblin shark turned sea witch siren kind of thingy and so the mouth leans forward and snatches just like the goblin shark's mouth you know and maybe she thinks she's pretty yeah she could still be pretty But I guess this doesn't really feel like a siren is the only thing. 
she can have like maybe a grotesque small body like uh, as long as it's wait you know what yeah wait wait she could still have like a mermaid body and i want her to have the lion fish spines down the back angler goblin eel siren yeah something like that um stomach mouth could also be interesting that's what people thought skeletage was gonna be mythical character from spain to crocodile with butterfly wings oh wow i already have a couple of crocodiles so um or its entire bottom of the tail is mouth that oh i like that wait wait that could be fun too i want her to be like an ugly kind of thing but then then she'd only look like an angler fish goblin shark and lose out on the siren vibes you know um let me see um yeah the gulper ear mouth is crazy Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna keep this on the side. Actually, I'll put it right here. Um, I like that one though. Let me try. Maybe she No, wait, wait. I think it's still it's still doable. Hold on. It could be the pose. What do we think, chat? Do you guys like that idea? So she could just just simply be more humanoid. And her hair could still be like this. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be a real exact siren, as long as it kind of still has like a mermaid vibe. And I could have the spines coming out. Maybe her vision is so poor, so her eyes are kind of like that. I like the goblin shark element with the thing, because like the mouth opening up is so sick. Plus, what if you keep the goblin shark design and flip it upside down to add the top of the human where the tail is currently? Take care, JC. Have a good one, okay? Let me see. There's something here. Chat, I'm telling you this. It's right around the corner. Yeah, she could still have like... A beautiful quote unquote body, right? If we're looking at that kind of standard of siren. Um But she's got like this horrific face. You know? Yeah, wait, wait, wait. I think maybe we could still make it work. Maybe she can have like a mermaid body, but like her hands are like smaller, like regular fish fins because she uses her mouth to catch and eat things, right? Can you hear the internet people saying wood? Damn it. <laughs> uh, Bonnie, in opinion, do you think Pokemon could do well without gyms? 100%. We, we all love the gym concept. Don't get me wrong, right? But we in reality what it is that we love is the pokemon right obviously then connected with that you could say we love the battling and then you say well battling is connected to the gyms gyms are still just a way to test how battling and such works right so the way i see it is at the end of the day oh my god so even the goblin fins goblin sharks nose works as like 
a sea witch type of thing so when i do come around to doing um the final art it won't be like straight on like this so So she could be um, gothic. She can be gothic. Maybe just straight gothic, right? Not typic. Not well. Gothic cryptic could work as well. And it could be cool that she's got kind of like um, maybe like a nose ring, like a. And the crazy part about this is, again, I'm still trying to figure out my designs, right? And I could do, like, things like access... Not only say accessories, but, like, they're spirits, right? It's not like they're real-world evolutions. So if I were to do some cool stuff with this design like this, then maybe I could do, you know, e equally really cool stuff for other third forms and, and really push their designs, right? I'm thinking maybe it's like that and she she's got her mouth kind of covered and I like the the zebrafish spines kind of like coming through the back right hook line and sinker we got them um, without the would people this siren would never ever eat would they be runic because their relationship to the water i mean not necessarily because they only live in the water right it's not like they're using the element of water to fight um which could always change right um and earlier you know i was like saying like oh is runic gonna be a thing it may not if types and elements aren't necessarily a, a big part of the world you know um conversely i could see myself doing second passes and adding elements in a very pokemon like kind of way right like this could be water type right so to speak i feel like having fake little beady eyes under the nose could work too um i have like this one little thing right here which looks like a nostril eyes i think that really works too um this is yet another design where the the eyes aren't as prevalent, but chat, I don't want to hear it. We got three other guys with eyes, all right? Nose ring, ooh, we get a sassy. Again, I don't, is it actually gonna be a nose ring? Probably not. It'll more than likely be like the appendage like continuing down, which looks a little weird, not gonna lie. Um, It could be. Something like this. What does that mean? I don't know. No eyes? Maybe not. I just think gyms become stagnant of the years. I'm just battling some chump for a little piece of metal. You, but the way you're describing it doesn't do it justice, right? Um, they're not chumps, right? Like in the usually when we get to them, maybe our starter is like over leveled, but like they're getting better and better about making difficulty a little better, but. It's a little piece of metal that's necessary for beating the game. So it's still a very important part, right? Um, you know what? I kind of want to give her like this kind of like really bulbous body, actually. Yeah, I like the bulbous body. And maybe instead... It could be like a manta ray kind of barb or something. You know what? The thing is, she probably does need arms just to get the siren kind of feel. Maybe, you know, her lure is she's generating, the, she's holding the fish out. That's her like angler element. Right? Right? 
and she could still have all these spines like like the and I gotta figure out the exact hair situation because as of right now it's just this black bit I can't unsee a witch nose and a large nose ring perfect sea hag um like if the top jaw roughly resembles a face with the mouth is fully open so you don't know where the mouth is yeah i mean from the perspective of like a, a fish or something you're, you're not gonna be able to see like the mouth right like i will continue to push the mouth further and further back i think you know um now i'm just gonna make sure the hair kind of reads right is the lure going to be made of snot? No, no, no. Um, CGRs, I would have praised you if you managed to get body style while also modeling these designs. If you ever get off of them with in collaboration with Bonnie, um, like if it comes out of the palms of the hands, yeah, that's kind of like if she's like conjuring, right? Um, I can't like she's offering, yeah, that's kind of her way of angler fish. Um, but I mean, is that going to be the final? You know, maybe not. The cool part is, gang, the anglerfish comes in an orange variety as well as black and white. So it's kind of perfect. So we can still have visually the connection um, you know? Because I want them to be sister species, essentially. Maybe species is not the right word. And I want her to feel like, again, very, these creatures have like these bands and stripes, which could be really nice for the way that um, the hair kind of sits, you know? And these almost even look like teeth as well, which is nice. So in that case, maybe I like the pink. There's something very raw about it, but like, cause I'm looking at the goblin shark and like the goblin shark is, it's got like the pink at the bottom, but actually I could probably get away with getting, and the Kelpie already has the kelp. So that's kind of the, you know what I could do? I can give you partial eye chat. That's as much as I can give you. She looks so crazy. Um, Goblin shark yet. Uh, Pokemon Carlos will see how gym badges are made. Really? How do they make them? I like making the colors the same but more desaturated would be good for the occult part of it. Um, I like that the hair can block out the more monstrous part of the body so the front part. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for. Empty space looking more human potentially. Yep. Yeah. Um, I want to do... Hmm. That's true. Black is insane. But since, mm, yeah, I gotta still figure out my world. How, I, I don't know really how to get the world sorted out. Like, do I have Potempo living in the sea? I, see, the thing is, I have this hair, right? But I don't know what the hair is supposed to be, you know? The deep sea aspect, more so that is. I might. I mean, I do have the goblin fish. Um, I could definitely push, say, like the teeth, right, for that feel as well. Like the bottom half could look like it can barely contain in her jaw.
the Squidward voice. Typing this again just in case you missed it. I don't know about crypto. Oh, I did miss that. Let me see if I'm. Um. What is this comment? Feels like a party ace. Yeti Potempo, but get some information. No, they just did that in Pokemon recently. The Yeti Crab. Well, Gen 7, so it's not super recent. Uh, so, Dingus writes, I don't know about Cryptic. In my eyes, I think Cryptic wants to be elusive, while this Potempo wants to attract people. That's true, but it's more so... Uh, I mean, that's true and it's not true. Cryptic still doesn't have like a formal... Like, the way I intend Cryptic is that there isn't another space for them, right? Um, and... Yeah, I think you're taking it literally in that cryptics want to be elusive. And even then, I, I don't, that's not true at all. And I apologize if I ever made cryptic feel like that's the case. Maybe that's more like the real world thing, like Big Bigfoot doesn't want to be seen. But cryptic is a type that's supposed to um, just represent things cannot that cannot be explained, the unexplainable more so. So that's why cryptic exists. Um, eel hair maybe like an underwater medusa Ooh, i like that i've overly got my mindset on the jaw having a face on it like what if it holds its head straight up to so the bottom of the jaw has a... I, I do like that as well because it could give the appearance of a very cute mermaid since she's got the hag i'm just trying to figure out a few logistic things i really like that idea about the eel tails um let me look up eel tails but at the same time, doing a, like a face directly, like, seems more like a true evolutionary kind of thing more than, um, you know. And again, I, I can still incorporate evolutionary kind of stuff. I'm looking at eel tails. They don't particularly... Well, I guess, yeah, I, they could just be... They could just kind of be fanned out like this. Yeah, it, like style-wise, this is definitely moving away from like the Potempos that I've created before, especially this coming here. So eventually it needs to be um, far more simple, right? But right now I'm getting a lot of different suggestions and I'm trying to find my own direction and try to incorporate ideas I like. It's So that's why it's getting a little muddy. Um, let's see here. One of my favorite parts of Deep Sea Creatures by Luminescence, you got it going here but i think really works with luring part shiny things are pretty neat and all that agreed um so cryptic is kind of sort it's not fear of the unknown it's just simply as far as a, remember these are more classifications than anything right like a potempo deciding it wants to be elusive or not doesn't like a potempo could just could be like i want to be mythic but it doesn't make you a mythic so it's the same thing here just because maybe um this creature you know in a way, it's still hiding its face, but it's still luring people closer, right? It doesn't make it a cryptic. Um, that's more using, like, the real-world terminology that, like, cryptids are, like, trying not to be seen by humankind, which is why we don't see them. But in reality, cryptids in the modern day are just modern-day mythological entities that we can't explain, right? Um... That's the acquisition thing I was talking about. You have to teach people because they already come in with assumptions. That's why you see so many games with similar ideas. That's true, which is why probably in my second pass, I may lean into a lot of the things that I'm saying that um, I might need to avoid, right? Like certain things like, you know, people expect a certain type to be a certain type of way or, or type to denote colors to be a certain way. Or the most important thing, that evolution looks a certain kind of way. I might need to lean into more Pokemon style evolutions down the line. Um hopefully not but you're absolutely right about the acquisition cost you know um you have to make that's why I like arbitrarily changing names like i don't necessarily need to have something called a finale form right um 
I could just call it its final form or, or stage two or what, like Pokemon does, right? Because that's not anything that overtly changes gameplay. So why give one more terminology for someone to have to understand that might confuse them? Um, uh, what's the slogan for Potempo? You got to also come up with that. Uh, no slogan yet. It'll come to me when I come, when I randomly come, you know? Like, maybe the face part of those Kitsune masks. I don't remember the details. Can we just remember Misty Tracing Sakura was in the episode? Okay. I've been bouncing a lot of ideas in one design, and it's becoming super muddy. So I'm going to let you guys chat. I'm going to just kind of try and find my own direction, because I remember this happened before with another direction, and I think it's happening now. So I'm going to try and see what I can do. Because I know, I know what I want it to look like, but I've got like anglerfish thing, goblin nose, um, this thing, eel tails, bioluminescence. I'm gonna try and just keep it simple and go back to shapes. Uh, a attempt in time. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. I'm. Gonna, I want a big. Oh, wait. Okay, maybe it could be... So, big bulbous shape for the manatee head. I could have it like this. Maybe it's just alluring... kind of eyelashes. Fake eyes, maybe. How do the anglerfish look like as far as roughly three hours in? Sheesh. Yeah, I gotta, my hand doesn't hurt, which is the cool part. Um, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to implode, you know, once I'm done. Okay, so I have the goblin fish here. You know what? Let's get from the goblin fish thing. I'm going to do... Oh, I got it. It was so much simpler all along. It's an angler fish like this. It's going... Oh my god, it was right... It was right there. So... The body gets bulbous right here. And she can have the mermaid body. And she, her actual body is like right here. Or, so she's got like kind of like a carapace or something. Is that a seahorse? Is it Pregnante? Danny, I talked about you earlier. You have to make your case. You have to make your case. Why should Potempo have the S word? What's up, Oster? Welcome in. And maybe the light is shaped like a fishy. So you've got the angler body like this. And it can have the hair... Like, again, because it's supposed to be an ugly mermaid. It's Brigante. Yeah, so Danny message me asking if this the seahorse kelpies and whatnot were gonna be pregnant i said potempo don't have sex as in they don't have genders let alone do they do the nasty the big nasty my case is why not ever think of that chat what do you think sirens are so potempting yeah, I want her to be... Ooh. Wait, no, no, no. I got it. 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 Keep it even more simpler. So it would probably be super dark wherever they're at. And this goes, again, going perfectly back to orange mermaid body. And then it's... I 
I'm gonna make like it's uvula slash head of the mermaid and then it'll have the same glowing green eyes of the other of the regular mermaid and that's what kind of attracts people no you know what maybe she can you see what i'm trying to do chat It's almost like giraffe rig has that one little tail thing in the back. You know what I mean? They don't got to do the dirty dance. They can just protosynthesize or photosynthesize the babies, right? Am I right? Also, why not zegs? Do you want to attract that kind of audience? Do I, Danny? Chat. Do we want to attract that kind of audience? You know what scares me the most is that I have to really think about what's the word? I'll keep this goblin shark design somewhere just because in case I can make it work. But I think I'm getting closer to what I want to do. Yeah, sounds a bit fishy, Danny. That kind of sounds sussy. Like, what are you up to? What, what agenda are you pushing? No, we don't in capital letters. So the head with the eyes of Tungler and the mouth is the actual head. I don't know yet. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure out the Cyrus. I like that it looks like a gulper, not a gulper eel, let's just say, but like it looks like a giant eel. And then, all right, so she needs, she needs some flick hips. Oh, look at this. I kind of like this. Yo, this looks kind of crazy. Hold up. You guys see what I'm trying to do? So then, I guess the inside of the head is like really dark. I'm pushing them baby bellies. Hey, yo. Oh, but only for the horsies? Wait, so you're saying this creepy siren can't freak danny that's that's not fair what she wants to freak what's what if it's a goblin instead of a giant anglerfish uh, it's too busy um the other one just became a frankenstein of chat's entire suggestions don't forget to stretch and blink everyone so true i literally just stretch right now that reminds me of ghost freak yeah i can see that you can make sure the job resembles those old diving helmets that's a little too pokemon like um, if this were a Pokemon design, I would absolutely do that. I, I love those old diving helmets. My craziest hear me out statements incoming. Listen, the way the internet works is I could say, Potempo don't need to breed. That's not how new Potempo are born, yada, yada, yada. Someone will make rule 34 with this design one way or another, right? That's just how it works. So... I can say all these kind of things and it won't matter. And honestly, that's kind of beautiful. <laughs> right? Honestly, that's kind of beautiful. Oh, perfect. And then her hair can kind of like come down this way. And I'll give her those like creepy like teeth that the angler fish seem to have. One way or another, it's all part of the same organism, you know? I mean, look, as I've said before, my goal is to always come up with unique takes on existing mythologies, right? What's the point of me making a chimera and it just looks and feels like the chimera we've seen in mythology? I want to see where I can put my stamp on it. Same with the owl bear. When I go for the second pass of the owl bear, it'll probably get really funky and crazy. And I'm going to be very excited for that. You know? 
because again then what am i doing i'm just creating like mythological designs and making it cool which is its own cool merit right but i want to put my stamp on mythology right that's what it is you heard it here first. Bonnie said, Potempo sex is beautiful. You nasty. Danny, you nasty for lying. Uh, Danny, I say this for everyone. We will not be hearing you out. <laughs> Ghost Week mixed with Rip Jaws. Yes, but I don't want to hear those kind of comments, even though they're true, right? Even though they're kind of sort of true. I want to still make it feel like their own thing. So if... I'll probably in the second pass try and make sure they don't look like... Um, those characters and much what which is you know not like a bad thing i'm not saying bad things about those designs but um there are no laws against potempo's batman them potempo bearing hips hell yeah brother um yo why does thing got hips if no listen danny i can still make characters sexy all right you can't take that from me all right okay you ain't taking that from me They got them childbearing hips, even though they, that's not how these creatures, the Potempos, um, reproduce. I don't know what, again, what the hair exactly is supposed to be. And I like the inner part. I like that the body opens up like that, but... Totally imagine this kid give... Oh my god, yeah. Like, I gotta really tame down the design for sure. Right now, I am losing the the lionfish vibe, which I really like, that I want to keep. But again, second pass stuff, right? Bunny, you don't understand anything that gets on the internet can get ruled no matter... Exactly right. So I'm not going to fight into it, Justin. Um, diplomacy in the potential world. Are you going to do the second pass? Have you done all the first designs or random types? You know, Austral, I think I will probably do them... Ideally, I do it after I finish the first pass, and I probably will not do a good chunk of those second pass designs. In fact, I'm not doing every single design on stream either, um, because that's just not how development works. Um, you know, like we don't get Pokemon, all Pokemon designs um, while, you know, we're waiting for the games, right? So same with Potempo or anything else. You've got to make sure the audience has a reason to support you financially after working on these designs for as long as we do, right? You know what? Oh, man, part of me does want to give the angler as obvious and on the nose that is. Right? Damn. And then that way... No, that would make a nice break in the silhouette, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have the... I'm going to still have the shoulder come up. And... Look. We can definitely clearly see there's like a body here, but it's like shrouded in darkness. Right? See, I think this design as of right now is very... Ab not abstract, but it's very like... And that's what this process is right now, trying to find... Yeah, this really does feel like a Ben 10 alien, doesn't it? Started with an alien device. <laughs> it's fire. It's a fire design. Monsieur Zets. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it feels like if Bonnie was making a new chip brand, it has the same recipe as the competitor. It just feels like the same thing in Soulless. Um, I mentioned relations to other characters in case you take issues with being such. No, it's whatever. It's all good. Uh, I felt like this is really coming together. That's good. I'm glad that. The hips are for decoration. The hips don't lie. Perhaps making webbings for the torso and the arms or just 
Things like that. Yeah, that's true. I would need to put something like that. If Bonnie had chip flavor, it'd be salt and vinegar because this boy's salty about it. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't like chip salt and, and then you said that. What is my favorite flavor chip though? I like Doritos. I do like Doritos. Doritos. Uh, but do these chips lie? Yes, they do. They say childbearing materially, they bear nothing. You see, this thing is if you don't give the fish the boobs, just being said in New York accent. I draw the eyes away from the hips, yeah. I did a little sketch and put a potential design chat, but I did like what you did. Think a little more. Child bear, like a bear cub. Child bears. Like it's so far. The hell's going on? Question The mouth is able to bite, correct? Yeah, I would assume. Um, You know what? But I don't. Chad, I don't really like. Yo, salt and vinegar ain't it, kid. It's just not good. It's all. Look, it's not bad. But it's not great. You with me, chat? Chat, you rock with me? Yes or no? Yippee! Look at this. Alright, we're getting closer. That's the good news. Okay. What if? Wait, wait, wait! I'm dumb. It's just a siren. I'm stupid. This is the body. It's just gonna be a massive head. Yeah, it doesn't have to be beautiful or anything. Who cares? It's the lure that's important. Dang, I really like the goblin shark thing. Let me see if I can make that work. Look, like the entire bottom half of the mouth could just be connected. Look, the cor the torso is right here, and then her eyes could be like right here. Ooh, maybe I can make it like. Oh no, that's really Ursula. The chatless law right now, absolutely. Do the yippee face again. Sweet chili, Dor yeah, sweet chili Doritos, bangers on bangers. Tell them Rosalinda, Rosalinda's against me. Let me see this. Sour cream and onion. Mwah. We gotta send Danny to horny jail. <laughs> um, limited dishes, sour cream and bacon. What's the what's the yippy face, Sarah? Send all these people to the basement. The lure is just an entire human woman? Facts. What color bag is sweet chili? I think that's the purple one. Danny, buy me the purple bag of sweet chili Doritos. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So listen, chat, look. It doesn't have to be, she doesn't have to be attractive. That's the whole point. The idea is lure. I. It could be like super bulbous kind of shape. Oh, hold on. Okay. I got it. So watch this chat. Now I can bring back what I was trying to do, which is I got angler fish reference right here. Fine. Um, I wanted yield tails. No gulper. Gulper could be really cool too. But I feel like I'd rather make that its own creature, you feel? Trying to find my reference. Oh, here we go. And her eyes can just be kind of like this void type of thing. Oh, this pose is lit. Yo, 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 look, 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 chat, look. I'm bringing back the goblin shark kind of thing. So she extends out her her mouth and grabs the prey, right? And it looks like she can't reach. And I want to give her, look, I'm going to have her eyes like this, 
but they're gonna be like semi covered and she's gonna look scary but she also looks sad <laughs> she's sad no one loves her I'm gonna give her the pink kind of fleshy gums for the bottom This simplifies the design quite a bit. And then... And then I'm gonna give her the lure at the top, which really creates a nice silhouette. I'm gonna have the hair kind of cover the eyes, you know? And I like that her head is like this massive head on like, I don't wanna say traditionally attractive body, but she do got them hips though. And you know, the hips don't lie. And she's got like the humanoid arms. Again, this is just a first pass, but I, I, I like this direction quite a bit. Let me, let me, you know what I'll do is to really sell And I kind of want to, I'll give her the same green eyes as her sister. You see? It's like, so she, the siren is the, she traded her looks for a different type of hunting. Luring with the light. And she can, maybe she conjures up like fish to capture other fishies and stuff. Now she looks like she's got lips, and now we're asking you what them lips do. Dang! That's so close, chat. Okay, so let's see. Um, Danny is free from this place. She'll never be caught. It's true. She's... Uh, this is how she is in real life. You can't defeat it. You just accept it. Um... The uprising has begun. I'm a purist. I don't do alternate flavors. Oh, you gotta, you gotta step your game up, Rosie. A little catfish, exactly. Um, she doesn't have to be attractive, but can she? Uh, no, that's not legal in this world. Um, the chips say the OG flavor. Yeah, the gulper is crazy. Have you seen that? Think about the gulper is you gotta watch how the mouth opens. Yeah, it's like folds out. And then telescope fish, no questions, thank me later. Looks like she would be hitting them operas in your high notes. Now she looks stuck. I can fix her, people will say. You can also make the nostrils be mistaken for eyes. Ooh, that's true. With that being so big, it feels like the whole body injury is vestigial. Yeah, exactly what I was trying to go for. Snot nose. This potato is a hybrid of siren and Shakira. Shakira, sh la 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 la. <laughs> Don't worry, Bonnie, no matter what you do, the animal will find a way to sexualize it. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, gotta go. Take care, Dingus. Have a good one. Laws are meant to be broken, Batman. Um, yeah, right now, it definitely looks really goofy. I'm not gonna lie. It looks incredibly goofy, and the second pass, I'll find a better... You know what? Let's... She's like, it's not fair. She got the looks. And the mom's like... Don't worry, you, you've got a nice personality. <laughs> Poor Siren. Poor the Siren. Maybe what I do is I gave her, she has a more banging bod. She's a butterfly. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, it's definitely cartoony. I mean, looking really goofy.
I'm not shallow, okay? I'm not shallow. In, in real life, um, I'm all about personality, okay? We're just trying to make appealing monsters. Maybe she could have like really long arms to further kind of like make her feel creepy. Hmm. She wouldn't really need Embrace the unknown. Uh, I mean, anglerfish has absorbed the males and the smaller males become a vestigial part. That's very true. I'd be here, friend. Oh, thanks, Danny. That's sweet. This is not the course I thought my knight would be taking. Uh, I love both Order Mermaid. Beautiful and elegant. The chaos angler goblin sharks are in badass and monstrous. Can be canceled? No, I refuse. Danny will protect me. Personalities? God damn you, Danny. Uh, how can you be shallow when these are deep sea fish? Marine biology must be hard in Potempo. Facts. All right, let's do. Okay, I like the. You know what? What if I did something like this instead? Instead of the goblin fish, I just do. Yeah, simplify it like this. Ooh, wait. This is this is I think better. And then, yeah, we sim. I think we have to just simplify this these shapes here. Oh, she. You know what? Oh, I'm gonna make her look like um, Full Metal Alchemist. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Oh my God, this is so wrong. That's how I'm gonna make the eyes feel. Does it look like what I think it looks like, chat? I don't know, Danny, am I? Am I? What if the hair was red kelp to mimic blood? I don't hate that, but remember, she's not evil, right? So I don't want her to look any more evil than she needs to be. She already looks pretty dang scary. But you know, like anglerfish look scary, but they're, they're nice, right? The nostrils, his eyes look funny here, right? This looks really sick, actually. Chat, this is, you agree? You agree, Chatsky? I don't mind if the head also is like this really, again, massive. The posing is definitely an issue, I'm not gonna lie. Cancel this man, get him, get out of here, Danny. Um, right now he's at Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. The state alchemists are looking for you, they can try. She's just misunderstood. She's grown up being compared to her sister after all. She needs someone who gives her a chance. Looks badass. Exactly. Animals can't be evil. They just do what they got to do to survive, except otters and dolphins. Yeah, they are. We're getting somewhere. How's your hand? Thank you, Rose. I appreciate you checking in. Hand is doing great, which is why I don't mind staying up. I'm almost done with this design. I want to, like, get to a good place, but I promise if it does feel really bad, I'll let you guys know, and, I'll, you know, I'll close, close down stream just a bit. You know what, let me do, let me see if I can put the eye maybe right here. Answer was, I did, I said it's nice, damn it. 
the Tucker extended family. Oh, <laughs> oh no, the Tucker extended family, bruh. No. The state alchemists, they're not coming after me, brothers. All right? I'm one of them. We got an answer for you to be careful. Thank you, thank you. Maybe glowing tongue so the fish just swim right in. Shoot, Tucker. <laughs> this iteration, yes. There's been a lot of iteration. And again, that's because I really do want to find something unique for my take on the siren. Even my mermaid feels pretty damn tame. But at the same time, it... It still does look like its own kind of mermaid. Um, but yeah, the funding's back, baby. Dingus, welcome back. That was quick. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm definitely getting closer. Man, I really do want to give her like Ursula, Ursula kind of things. Child is the second of mermaids. <laughs> Um, did you all know the English VA for Show Tucker is the same voice as Hie in Yu Yu That ruined my favorite. Oh no, poor Danny. <laughs> Chat finally scared him out of the room. No, I'm back. Um, okay. Let me see. All right. Ooh, I like this kind of shape. Maybe I'll do it. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's the pose going to be? Is she like sad, depressed? Oh, I guess I'd have to like just raise it up a little bit so we can get the waist just a bit. She looks like she's in pain, but I guess she is scared, maybe. Because I don't want her... Well, do I want her to be evil? No. No. No, that's the whole point, Bon. The issue is there's so many, like, flowing kind of things, you know? And so when you have the flowing black hair, and I'm trying to figure out... You know what? She could still have... Take care, KK. Ursula Hips, do it. Um, my hand's about done. Take care. Have a good one, Rosa. Dio's VA voice Snuffkin, Deadpool, Excalibur from Stole Eater. Ursula Hips are wild. Rip jaws looks interesting. Crap. All right, I'm not. I'm gonna alter this design a bit. I don't want the rip jaws connection. So that means the design isn't working. If it looks too much like other media, I'm gonna hit a flip. It's gotta be. Hmm. Let's do. Okay, let me look up sirens for a reference. I've been drawing siren, mermaid. Hmm. Does she need arms? She doesn't, but here's the thing. If I remove the arms, she'll just look like a gulper. Exactly, she won't be able to hug you, but realistically, I don't want to say realistically, but the part of the mythical element of the... Oh, with her hair. Maybe the hair can act like tentacle arms. Well, what I mean to say is that... 
You know what? What if... Okay, I think I got something. What if... The original Sirens... Um, thing is, I don't want to look at other art to influence my original art. Like, I want my designs to, like, truly be creations of mine, especially for the first pass. I don't mind you guys giving me ideas in chat, but um, for legal reasons and otherwise. I'm going to... Um... It could be a different method of luring. It could still be singing. Um... But it doesn't have to, again, it's only inspired by that aspect. It doesn't need to. It just needs to be the chaotic version. But what I'm going to say is the original sirens were bird-like. So I could go in an angle where they're still like... Look, this is the original sirens. It's going to look silly. But they're like bird women. Which is kind of like the harpies, right? Like the harpies and whatnot. But eventually, Siren then soon, you know, came to be known as like mermaids. Um, so I want to see if maybe I can get like a seabird, not like an albatross or a pelican. Um, Like maybe I can have, yeah, I saw that. Keanu Reeves' shadow. I'm so happy. I'm so excited about that. Um, no, 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 not so much that I'm worried about like you guys trying to pass my stuff off, but like for iteration purpose, like I just want to kind of get to the, and that's part of the fun and the challenge. I appreciate you trying to help me though. Um, but Danny, take care. Have a good one. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Keep pushing the Potempo sexy agenda. Uh, anglerfish with wings. Yeah, something like I'm trying to think if there's anything cool that I can do. Because um, I'm looking again at the original. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Because Ripjaws is basically an angler merman. Mm -hmm. Nice, little jaw, good. Um, sometimes, you know, I just need to sit out and just let it, like, chill for a little bit. But, um... Hmm... I want to see if maybe I can still do something with... You didn't see... Oh, this is the... This is the line. I know it looks insane, but it's a... A blobfish becomes a manatee, which evolves into the mermaid. Because mermaids were originally mistaken for manatees. Um, the sexiest animal in the world, apparently, to sailors back in the day. But that's what happens when you're out in the sea for so long. And then the, the manatee split evolves into the mermaid or the siren. So you know what? It's kind of a good thing. Batfish? No. Let me look at a batfish. That could be a nice... And you know what? Maybe we lean more into the shapes of... A... Oh, what the hell is that? Ew! <laughs> the powder of a red-lipped batfish. Oh, that's interesting. The dusky batfish. Short nosed batfish. The answer is right around the manatees. What is that? Oh. My brain is fried. Okay, I just got that. Let me do... I really like the bulbous shape of the manatee. I want the manatee so cute? Yeah, like it's done several crimes. It's a killer. All right, so let me give it a big bulbous head because I'm going to do like the manatee kind of thing. I'm going to give it like the anglerfish... mouth... 
Oh, this is very carnivine. Got a blast! Anglerfish with the hair in the shape of mandatory, oh, manta ray fins acting as wings. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, manta rays are looking kind of creepy from... Oh, maybe your hair could look like that, like a manatee. You know what? What if it's the same proportions and such of like her sister, right? So her eyes can look like this. She doesn't have to have like crazy mouth or anything, but it could just look like that. And she could still have like the same proportions and stuff as her sister, you know what I mean? It's just that she's just not as pretty. You know what I mean? Like look at this face shape could be that same round kind of shape. She could have the scuttlefish eyes. But she just doesn't look as attractive. Therefore, she needs to hunt like a anglerfish, right? Crown of Thorns, the biblical one? I think maybe this is the play where, like... Oh, maybe her hands can be like, like this maybe, you know? Wait a second, this might be it. Maybe it's something closer to this. You see? Oh, wait, wait, wait. And I can still give her quote unquote hair and just keep it like much more simpler because now I can actually use, so maybe I won't do the underwater bird thing because that seems pretty insane to try and pull off. Um, now I can do, um, oh, the music stopped playing. Holy crap, we've been on for that long. Really like this take me too. The solution all along. Pretend Bonnie mentioned how attractive it is. He digs a hole deeper than the Mariana Trench. I'll die to the grave. I'm in love with this siren lady. <laughs> God. Um, so I'm going to do... Yeah, because they're sisters. I realize like they should still... like They're evolving from the same line. I don't mind if I made them like really crazy different. But like... I'm going to get that lean into the design into the lionfish so if anything maybe she has like the cuter eyes and she doesn't look evil that's the cool part she's just chaos Could this be a potemba that makes an illusion of a lure prey it doesn't really care about its angle? I feel like that, get, that gets a little too, like, character rather than a creature. You know what I mean? Like a little glowing chick. Boy, oh, man, make the lure like the little flame bird. I think that's a little too close to Skeletor, just cute as that is. That's why I'm like, I don't mind it being, like, a fish. But even then, that feels very character-like as well, right? Like, it could just be a regular light. In reality, I'll probably make it more like a regular light. Um, okay, so I'm looking at the zebra lionfish. And...
No, I feel like she does look. She looks badass in Eerie Abyssal. I feel like she does look. Have, oh, it's kind of like Melina from. Yeah, I think that's it. Not wood should. Let me give her now the. The mo So what's cool is like so she's got like this hair, but she's gonna have like the spines of a zebra fish. So that's her hair. So she still has a very unique silhouette, you know. And it'll be like banded like this. Maybe her personality should be a little devious, you know, rather than like making her completely innocent. I mean, not that she's not, you know. Yeah, this definitely feels like a stronger direction. And like the, the hairstyle being like a spiny mohawk, just like, if you guys see what I'm talking about, the reference is this, the lionfish, which is uh, a pretty poisonous creature. So they've got these row of spines and it perfectly kind of lines up as a mohawk for here. Um, so the mohawk kind of actually perfectly works because it just feels like, the antithesis to the other hairstyle, you know? Um, punk vibes, yeah, I think this is my favorite iteration. I think so too. A little punk, little rock and roll. Spines feel a bit mohawky. Um, Drive like flipping us off. Really hits. Yeah, I feel like I kind of like you're having the kinder pose. I do too, but the issue is it feels like too hard for me to try. Like I'm trying to like. Like, I want her to have edge. Even if she's not evil, she's still allowed to have edge, you know? And I think she was kind of missing that. Um, I still could also do a thing like this, where, you know, she, just like her sister, she's got her hand. Um, if, if anything, you know what? I should really push the design and just have it. Um, something like that. Turns out the twist, she was the mermaid and her sister was the siren all along. And got fish. Um, went bird walk. Oh my god, Jeliana, that sounds amazing. Did you see any cool birds? She sits at the emo table. Yeah, exactly, right? Now you're fish singing. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I mean, please do. If you don't, you know, if, if you want, if you have time, let me know. I'm curious because there was a lot of iteration. Oh, what the hell? Oh, here we go. So look, now the sisters look like sisters. And she doesn't have to have like purple to be like, I'm the evil sister. Like she could still be orangish, red, maybe, you know. It's just, you know, the idea of the chaos and order directions, right? It comes down to being like we as humans, right? I'm sure chat, like you could align yourself probably in chaos or order. I think, truthfully, I live quite a bit in order. Um, I like having, you know, certain, you know, things kind of set, my ducks lined up. Um, and then every now and then I like to introduce a little chaos, right? Meaning maybe be spontaneous or something. Um, so I think a direction like this where 
it highlights, I think, in a better way without overtly saying, like, don't get me wrong, I love Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic the Hedgehog, right? And Shadow is the bad guy and Sonic's the good guy. Um, this hand pose is not doing it for me, but... Um, I think in this kind of iteration, and again, I may very well change it and everything, you know? Who knows? Um, it it feels like oh okay they like, when you see them side by side you're like yeah they're sisters like naturally or like they're two sides of the same coin more than anything you know and then once i obviously really sit down and do the iterations like the main things will of course be proportion and like depiction and all that kind of stuff like how i'm depicting features Hmm. Um, let's see. Brown pelican, gray tailed grackle, California gull. So Pot, pied build or peat build grape snowy egret wow holy crap you you have a lot of birds by you i've seen a bald eagle in my backyard i've seen a ton of sandy eel cranes um a crocodile or an alligator i should say it's not a bird uh tons of wood storks and ibis crawling with my fish uh, now the lure has the visor of their hair flip in the front of hair. That's kind of what I was going for. Hair kind of looks like a charm. Definitely lean more towards order. Prefer neutral, personally. Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> What's up, Zach? Welcome in. Speaking of shadow, that's means that this girl needs guns. Lots of guns. Um, yeah, it's a pretty crazy episode, I think. The Kimpachi. Oh my god, Soraki Kimpachi is my favorite character from Bleach. One of them. Um, you thought I was dead, but it was me, Zach. Red-shouldered hawks? I've only seen, I've been in Florida for maybe 11 years now, going on 12, I think. And I've only seen a bald eagle once. That's pretty big. Okay, so that looks good. Now, naturally, I do think I'll probably adjust the color and stuff. I'm having trouble with... Hmm. I think so too, you know? But at the same time, again, that feels like the Sonic the Hedgehog versus Shadow design philosophy, which I don't hate. And I just, I would hate it if people played this game and they're like, I want the edgy character, so I'm going to chaos. And that's what, because that's what chaos means. And like, it can mean that. You know what I mean? But, But I, I I do suspect you're right. Like sometimes you just kinda have to lean into She's not my favorite. Like I, I very much love the the simple babies. And to be fair, right, this is my first time tackling humanoids in Potempo. Um you know? I think it's fine. It fits because this one's based off a Bissell fish. Yeah, I guess that's true. Love how grumpy he looks? Yeah. She, he, yeah, they're all, you know, I guess, yeah, like I said before, gender doesn't really matter. Okay, let's mess around with the... Yeah. 
Yeah, I can't wait to do another pass for this, for the siren. I still want to really lean into like crazy shapes. Like, I'd love to give her like a massive head or something, you know, like crazy teeth. I mean, I already kind of already like that. Let me save that real quick. Sometimes can be on the side. Exactly. That's why I want to make sure the colors can kind of fit. But Dinkus is right. This is an abyssal. I mean, not that I don't assume like it's not like this variety. You need to evolve it a thousand feet under the water, right? It's personality more than anything. I thought with the cutie eyes you tried on her sister. It could look good. I love the siren. The colors are cool. Hollow mask that looks like its face would be rad. The pattern and shapes are nice. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Um, she could have maybe more traditional eyes. Certainly looks cuter. Kind of missing some volume in the... Hear me out. If you want them to be crazy, why not make the second stage split evos and both mons can have... No, 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 no. I'm already... I don't want to say I'm... Like, clearly I was struggling with the siren. But I don't see myself... Well, we can have a conversation. Where does the mermaid go next? And I'm sure I could come up with many mythological answers. But... The level of... The level of complexity is, is fun here, and, and these designs will get simpler in their final renditions to get closer to these guys. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I like where this is going for a first pass, you know? Funny bird named Go Away Bird? What the hell? What is the final form emphasize the helmet? There isn't really a helmet, though. Um... It's supposed to be kind of like the spines of the lionfish. Tyrant flycatchers. Sounds awesome. I want to go bird watching. I've never done it. I've seen some sort of hawk on my walk. Hawk on my walk. Hawk, hawk on my walk. Um, it was cool, but like, yeah, I don't normally see crazy birds but i'm sure i could probably find some okay so i see so she's kind of missing okay this is definitely going in the right direction i can at least tell you that um I just want to keep chasing shapes for the time being, okay? Yeah, it'll be a banger. I promise that much. Some ducks in my complex. We got cutie ducks. I raised this really cute duck. She's like a gold duck in a sea of like these normies. Hmm. You know what? Let me do this real quick. Da -da, da -da, da -da -da -da.
Yeah, I found a shiny duck. That's what it was. The ring neck duck doesn't have a ring. Damn it, those two liars. Stalk the hawk also works. So I flock of hawks while on a walk around the block. It's true. Check it, travel to the past. Discover animals that are still known to scare them and give them dumb names. I'd give them the coolest names. Canadian geese. Yeah, I got a few over here. Ooh, I kind of like this. Oh shit, this could be cooler. Yeah, something like this is a little, a little closer, I think. It's crazy how much the vibe changes with the color change. Now, it's not perfect, but I'll know exactly how to kind of push this design. Reverse, yeah, nice. the color scheme is very fun. Orange body, blue head. The Starship Jefferson is such a fire name. Holy guacamole. Yeah, the proportions really need to get altered big time. Pretty much. Um, I'm going to call it chat. I think... <laughs> See, the issue is... Like... That's a good one, too. Um, if, for example, if I was going this color palette then I would feel a little more inclined to maybe do something like this, where there's orange and blue patterns in this koi. So when it goes, you know, this way, it's not as crazy. But again, maybe that's just not the worst thing in the world either. You know? Bobfish to cow to pretty lady. The Wibbly Gobsmocker. Excellent. Good googly moogly. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, this is the first humanoid mod, right? And I got my, like, ideas kind of down. I think what I'll do is, like, I'll study humanoid mod for... Um, I'll study Humanoid Mon for like the second pass whenever I get around to that. Um, I could see myself even like reverting more closer to like animals and like really simplifying them. Yeah, I like it. It, it, it was a very difficult assignment, but those are the necessary um growing pains um i think for tomorrow what i want to do is i wasn't considering adding him into the into potempo but i do love me sun wukong and I'm not entirely sure how I would make that work because he is very much a character and then how do you make a character a more um, specific kind of entity? So, I don't know. I'll figure out who I'm going to be illustrating tomorrow. Look forward to it. 
Take care, Auroras. Enjoy Fallout. Chat, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate you as always. Um, make sure you guys leave a like uh, as I close out this stream. If you want, let's have like a minute here to go over the designs and I'll call the end of the stream. Make sure you leave a comment if you want to ask questions for my 5K Q&A video that I'm going to be putting out sometime. Um, and yeah, um, overall, the vibes of the first two are so great. But it makes me wonder if maybe it's too random. But again, maybe it's fine because this is the rules of Potempo. Different things can be different things. It's unlocking your potential as you go. Um, there's certainly cute designs. Even the fourth one after the color adjustment and getting the face feels really good. You know? Um... In fact, I kind of want her to have like a... She feels like an underwater wasp or something because I'm looking the Charlotte Hornets have like a similar kind of color scheme type of thing uh, I don't think it's too random that's good and then either way it's fine if it isn't extremely on the nose because it's not Pokemon right but cool leave comments for me on the VOD leave comments or questions on the community post thank you so much for hanging out with me guys um, pretty long stream all things considered um so please look forward to tomorrow i'll have another creature that i'm going to try and figure out um but yeah it's been real have a wonderful night perhaps the mantis swarms can be the same color as the anglers to connect them better that is true it could it could be like the spines of the lionfish could be like kind of like very subtly like alternating it's not a bad idea those are the kind of things i'll try and pick up for a second pass but Yes, I think it's time to call it. Have a wonderful evening, you guys. 